Source up or shut up. 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 Oh, you didn't know? This environment tough. 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 Polish scholarship. This is the knowledge you can't get in colleges. If you read from the Bible, obey the commandment and know who your mother and father is. Tune in to Sinetic, cause he the protector of the gods. I'm talking about Dr. Benjamin, use of your cannon and John Henry. We got the scale of my odd, if he light as a feather, let's go away his heart. I am the shrine of Patah, you can say I am, but I'm recognized a god. All I see is pseudos and frauds. Kudos to my dogs. I'm sick judo for you frogs. I think it's time to hop off the environment. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, you didn't know? It's environment tough. Oh, you didn't know? Knowledge on the rise, raising consciousness divine to the truth we subscribe. Jabari leading the way, Shaka our most can play. So never don't open the gates and up and banging a day. It's the family for the culture, rebuking all you vultures. Some environment full of soldiers, unlock your mind, they'll expose you. Ain't your kids squad, debating the teachers and nod. Watch when you step in the pod, or the tear you apart. It's LV Europa. Whatever you do, make sure you do it in the toughest environment. Mac double. That's the only way we grow. Yo, roll call for them tough niggas who act inspiring. You can't hit the stage with my vets if you don't meet requirements. Heard you did all that work from the fifth to the first when I birth your retirement. Huh, you hanging it up and it's still not enough in the toughest environment. Huh, toughest environment, toughest environment. Niggas are spit till they vomiting. Toughest environment, toughest environment. Niggas are bring the piranhas in. Toughest environment, toughest environment. Better be talking to scholarship. Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment. Who the toughest? Who the strongest? Who the smartest? Hitting the stage, PowerPoint, and I'm going through papers regardless. Listen up, got a point to prove, but I'm moving on because you niggas retarded. Toughest environment, toughest environment, only up make you a target. Uh, you don't want that smoke, you body last week. Run down on the whole Christina class with the pop. Oh my gosh, so I never, I think you the go, no rig on the road. Still take total control, just put my shit at the top of the pole. Put my shit at the top of the pole. For toughest environment, toughest environment. Uh, listen, just get it, I'm still about to bend it, I work every minute. And maybe I'm on with Chris here his thoughts And I thought you should know that this ain't a scrimmage And I'm shaping you right Molding you tight to be in the image of toughest environment Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment Yo, roll call for them tough niggas who act inspiring You can't hit the stage with my vets if you don't meet requirements Heard you did all that work from the fifth to the first When I birthed your retirement Huh, you hanging it up and it's still not enough in the toughest environment Huh, toughest environment, toughest environment Niggas are spit till they vomiting Toughest environment, toughest environment Niggas will bring the piranhas in Toughest environment, toughest environment Better be talking to scholarship Toughest environment, toughest environment Toughest environment, toughest environment I'm sure we can work this out Just get in the ring You better be Zion Alexa This best of divine prospect When he doing his thing Or Captain Tazari I say cross that line I get away clean Or Ali Muhammad So valid Still got me up on my ding All of it brought together Because of the studio Stop acting like Y'all could have been doing that Cause you didn't do it though And I watched them lions get ran out of the den, this shit'll get crucial Who you know I take the whole damn stage And turn that shit to a musical Stay in your cubicle The environment's tough, don't wire me up I'm calling your bluff I'm running it back and I'm running it back Like it's never enough Got them diamonds in the rough And we can't get to every treasure But you gotta help me dig it up But to me it's like whatever Yo, roll call for them tough niggas Who act inspiring You can't hit the stage with my vets If you don't meet requirements Heard you did all that work From the fifth to the first When I birthed your retirement Huh, you hanging it up and it's still not enough in the toughest environment Huh, toughest environment, toughest environment Niggas are spit till they vomit in Toughest environment, toughest environment Niggas are bring the piranhas in Toughest environment, toughest environment Better be talking to scholarship 
Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment. It's LV Europa. Whatever you do, make sure you do it in the toughest environment. Mac double. That's the only way we grow. Yo, bro, call for them tough niggas who act inspiring. You can't hit the stage with my vets if you don't meet requirements. Heard you did all that work from the fist to the first when I birthed your retirement. Huh, you hanging it up and it's still not enough in the toughest environment. Huh, toughest environment, toughest environment, niggas are spent till they vomiting. Toughest environment, toughest environment, niggas are bring the piranhas in. Toughest environment, toughest environment, better be talking to scholarship. Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment. Who the toughest? Who the strongest? Who the smartest? Hitting the stage, PowerPoint, and I'm going through papers regardless. Listen up, got a point to prove, but I'm moving on because you niggas retarded. Toughest environment, toughest environment, only up make you a target. Uh, you don't want that smoke, since you buy last week. Run down on the whole Christina class with the pop. Oh my gosh, I never, I think you the go. No rigor, no roll. Still take total control. Just put my shit at the top of the pole. Put my shit at the top of the pole. For toughest environment, toughest environment. Uh, listen, just get it. I'm still about to bend it. I work every minute. And maybe I'm on with Chris here his thoughts And I thought you should know that this ain't a scrimmage And I'm shaping you right Molding you tight to be in the image of toughest environment Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment Yo, roll call for them tough niggas who act inspiring You can't hit the stage with my vets if you don't meet requirements Heard you did all that work from the fist to the first When I birthed your retirement Huh, you hanging it up and it's still not enough in the toughest environment Huh, toughest environment, toughest environment Niggas are spit till they vomiting Toughest environment, toughest environment, niggas will bring the piranhas in. Toughest environment, toughest environment, better be talking to scholarship. Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment. I'm sure we can work this out, just get in the ring. You better be Zion Lex, I just back to the Vine Prospect when he doing his thing. Or Captain Tazari, I say cross that line, I get away clean. Or Ali Muhammad, so valid, still got me up on my ding. All of it brought together because of the studio. Stop acting like y'all could have been doing that because you didn't do it though. And I watch some lions get ran out of the den This shit'll get crucial Who you know will take the whole damn stage And turn that shit to a musical Stay in your cubicle The environment's tough, don't wire me up I'm calling your bluff I'm running it back and I'm running it back Like it's never enough Got them diamonds in the rough And we can get to every treasure But you gotta help me dig it up But to me it's like whatever Yo, roll call for them tough niggas Who act inspiring You can't hit the stage with my vets If you don't meet requirements Heard you did all that work from the fist to the first when I birth your retirement, huh? You hanging it up and it's still not enough in the toughest environment, huh? Toughest environment, toughest environment, niggas are spit till they vomit in. Toughest environment, toughest environment, niggas are bring the piranhas in. Toughest environment, toughest environment, better be talking to scholarship. Toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment, toughest environment. Time to set the stage with the lights off Let the little nigga breathe to the vice law You ain't never like the moon with the bright sauce Hail Mary, they despise what the light brought Let them roach niggas bleed if they can't see Side near the TV, what you can't be They say that murder on my mind, now they can't breathe Take a picture of the proof, that's your last peep Oh, I need me a love, yeah, that's just me Get them jumping like some frogs, so they might be When the sun set, and they don't really want to bleed from the gun Outside with it, pull up to the base like we might be with it on guard. Side these niggas like bullshit and they fraud. Let me chop them down with the saw. Walk them down like they live hard. If you just the toughest you gon' be in, we too hard. And you don't really want that smoke, my G. Side that I'm too.
side, tell them they don't want no smoke Or they end up in the new paper next day Smoke is the toughest environment, the toughest environment, the toughest environment to be in to Brother Herman Smalls in the toughest environment you can be in. We are the babies of Sarnetta. We are emulating the greatness of Sarnetta, the HOK, the House of Consciousness, and the trailblazing uh, work by the one and only Sarnetta. And I told Sarnetta, because we your babies, Sarnetta, because we your goddamn babies, we gonna be successful, bruh. Welcome to the danger zone, save your own, make it known. We're here to take the throne by intellectually breaking bones. Unveil the secrets of ancient Rome, take it back and bring it home, because information is not to remain unknown. You think you got what it takes to rock in the Coliseum? No, they put restraints on our minds, man, we gotta free them. With gladiator fights, man, it was crunch. The Coliseum is the place where the animals hunt. You little chat rat, always in the back chat, talking this and that back. Step in the Coliseum, a bad bad. I eat the lunch right out your knapsack. Take the king for his diamonds. The ace of spade is a black track. This is more than a rap track. It's y'all let up a space and got nothing on Emperor Sarnetta. And never mind them other YouTube channels. This is what you call better. You better call never. Step into the Coliseum. We done stepped in the debate Coliseum. Make your gate from the two Sarnetta. He's the leader. Got no pause. She's the queen, but she's still a fire breather. When you step in the ring, come correct the She gon' reach a G. The Nas never lacks. He gon' hit you with the facts. Tour of nights in the building, so we gotta run it back. For the debate, pick a date. Call them out, don't wait When you bringing out the truth Haters coming with the hate Time to step into some knowledge But it's nothing like your college Debate, Coliseum, bring us scholars up tomorrow We got Hebrews and Christians, Muslims All right, all right, all right Thank you, thank you, thank you Peace, peace, peace I was trying to contact you to say turn on your camera, Genesis But you did Sorry that we're starting late You know we're on CPT time If y'all don't know what that is You'll find out one day Peace to the Coliseum, peace to the chat, peace to the debaters. Uh, yes, I saw the Sister Kana, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to you. You asked a question in the chat. You thought the title was, um, which is more practical. It is. I just was doing a quick title for the for the actual stream, but the debaters will definitely let, definitely let you know throughout the debate that uh, what the title specifically is. So Gen DJ Genesis, Devion, everybody hit the um, the like, uh, make sure that you share the video. And um, so I wanted to just mention this really quickly. Uh, this debate is going to be, uh, it is uh, not going to be, it's on Shabbat. So if you are, you know, doing your Shabbat, this will be a great learning experience for you if you are following Torah, because we do have Devian, a Torah teacher, and he's going to be pointing out some very interesting, uh, informative uh, points about the Torah and versus Ifa. 
Genesis is representing the Ifa, the African spirituality. So without further ado, I'm going to greet the debaters, let them introduce themselves very quickly, and then I will go into just talking about the actual details and rules of the debate. So let me start with, uh, how about ladies first, Genesis. Go ahead and introduce yourself and just introduce yourself. You don't have to go in about your debate. Just introduce yourself and um, then we'll move on to Devion and then I will do the rules and you guys can come in and start your debate. Uh, I'm Genesis, a.k.a. Alchemizing Energy. Um, I'm an Olorisha priest of Oya. Uh, I've been a priest uh, priestess for over two years. Um, and I'm representing the affirmative that Ifa is more practical for society. Thank you very much, Genesis. Uh, Devion, Shalom, Shalom, please introduce yourself. Shalom, Shalom, no, it's Devion, Dayan, you know, Repertor Nice, Yahweh, Kod, Torah and Prophets, you know, you know how we come. And uh, my point on the debate is that the Torah is more practical for society. Uh, based off, um, without relying on any other culture or any other influence from another nation, we can uh, sustain ourselves through the right through the tour with our own government and uh, provide. You know, what I'm saying uh, for ourselves, and w which is from the tour and all praise to Yahweh. So, you know, without any other cultural influence or anything, the the tour will sustain us. You know, and uh, we could build a sustainable government through it. All right. Well, thank and I'll be you showing the differences. Oh, I'm okay. No, no, no go ahead. The, the, no, 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 finish. Yeah, you know, the, the differences between the, the Torah and Ifa and practices that are forbidden in the Torah, which uh, Ifa permits. So. All right. Thank you so much. And now, officially, I will tell the debaters and everyone else listening, this is how the rules will go. This is what the format of the debate if you are okay with it, you know, let me know. If you're not okay with it, let us know now before we get the debate going. Um, over here on the Coliseum, uh, what we'll do is a three-minute opening, if you both are okay with that. It, and, you know, let just a nod, yes or no. Are you okay with the three? Both of you? Okay, great. You okay with the three-minute opening? Awesome. Thank you. Thumbs up. Perfect. Give me a thumbs up. So three-minute opening, that's where you come in and let us know your premise, you know, introduce us to what we're going to be getting from, from you, basically. Then we're going to have three rounds. Your first round, uh, I'm going, I think you should have 15 minutes, definitely. It's a lot of information I, I know on both sides. So 15 minutes. Uh, second round, I, I'm okay with you doing 15 minutes each, or you can do 10. What do you want? 15 or 10? I'm really open with it. I think second round uh, 15 is fine. Perfect. Fine. Okay. Okay. 15, 15. And the last round, um, it, it, you know, we want to keep the audience in, in, engaged and I'm sure they will be because both, both topics, both spiritualities are interesting to our audience. However, we can do 10 for the last round or we could do another 15. So it's up to both of you. I like to keep it open for 10 or 15. 10 is fine for the last round. 10, 10 minutes is fine. I don't, hey, I don't know. Excuse me, Demian. You're muted, Genesis. Say, like, this is my first time ever debating, so this is all like trial and error for me. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we'll do 10. Don't worry about it. So we're okay. going to do 15, 15, last round 10. And what we do is after that, Genesis and Devion's familiar with this, you're going to do. Um, like a, or it's called rebuttal, like a back and forth round. Now we can do it uh, in two different ways. You can have the question answer where each of you gets to ask a certain amount of questions to the other person. Uh, you have a set amount of time. I'm going to say five minutes. It shouldn't be longer than that. So you have five minutes, each of you. The first person gets to ask you questions to the, to their opponent and the opponent gets a minute to answer back. Okay. So, um, five minutes for that person to get a block of time to ask as many questions as they can. And one minute for you to answer. Does that sound pretty much like that will work for you both? Or you want to just go back and forth with each other? 
you know, where it's just a free a freestyle for one, just one block of, of um, uh, let's say, se seven minutes of back and forth. The, the could, questions is fine. Perfect. Great. Okay. So we're going to do, don't worry, I'll guide you through it. We'll guide you through it, Genesis. And then after that, what we do over here in the Coliseum is we're going to open it, open it up before your final closing, because there's a closing at the end. We're going to open up the panel. I'm going to let a select group of people, I'll say it again, a select group come in. When I say group, I mean like maybe three people, maybe four, it depends on how it's going. And you can come in and ask one question, one question, not after they answer, you keep going. You ask one question to um, the debaters. You can get the chance to ask both debaters. If you only have one question for one debater, then that's even better because then we can get to the closing round, which will be five minutes, right? Okay, so I'm getting getting a call from upstairs, y'all. So go ahead and uh, talk amongst yourselves for a second. And so we're gonna do, let me know, let, let's go ahead and start the three minutes. Who wants to? Who wants to go first? Don't, it don't matter. I can go first. You can go first. It don't matter. I thought it was always the, the, the challenger, though. I'm sorry. What what was it again? Yeah, sorry. Was, my daughter came hopping in with some boots on. And <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, she can go first. I don't think she has a problem with that. Do you have a problem going first, Genesis? No, I don't have a problem. Okay, so I need you to know that you need to remember to share your screen if you have something to share your screen. You have three minutes to just basically do an introduction, basically do your premise, let us know what we're going to expect from you in the debate in a nutshell. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer when you're ready. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove myself. That way I don't have to say two minutes or three minutes, or I could stay up here, but when I come back in, you'll know you have uh, only a minute remaining. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna remove myself when you start, when your time starts, and when you see me appear back up on, this, on the stage, you know you have one minute to go, and then I, once your minute is up, I'm gonna say time, okay? So let me know when you're ready for your time to start. Do you have questions? You, I know this is your first time, so please, the audience, bear with us. Organized. <laughs> So I can be able to look at you, this. You don't have to screen share. And remember I told you in the beginning, but it, it, it's up to you. But really, it's just three minutes to just give us a, pr your premise and everything. Okay, I'm uh, presenting. Oh, by the way, no more stopping the time, guys. I know you don't know about this anyway, Genesis. But remember, we like stop the time, Devion and audience, so people can look things up. We're not doing that anymore. Um, so... It just causes a lot of, you know, people like, well, you let them have more time. So, okay, just letting them, you know that. All right, let me know when you're ready. You're screen sharing, and sh I'm going to remove myself when you say you're ready. And All coming right. back when you have one minute left. All right? Okay, I'm ready. Go. All right, so um, I want to get the definition of a practical, okay? Uh, more likely to succeed or be effective in real circumstances feasible. So my argument is, uh, in this presentation, I'm going to pro provide uh, the information that if I, without a doubt, uh, as a way of living and the practices of our ancient ancestors is the most practical way of society. Uh, the Torah and Ifa are actually connected, but Ifa is a more practical and more ancient, more older than the Torah. The Torah is based upon man's interpretation of spirituality. The thing that separates Ifa from religion is Odu. Odu are pa patterns. These patterns are developed based upon mathematical foundation of universal Scientology. We get Ifa directly from the universe, directly from God. Man gets religion based on interpretation of philosophy based on what God is. In Ifa, we don't philosophize what God is. Ifa is the natural scientific Scientology of, of life, the natural mathematics born out of life itself. We seek to be in harmony with what God created. Religion gives man's interpretation based on what God is saying its rituals, values, and beliefs based on motives. Dr. Henry Clark said that religion is the handmaiden of conquerors. Ifa is the root of all religions, Buddhism, Abrahamic, uh, Hinduism, Taoism, uh, and also the Torah is actually under the umbrella of Ifa. 
when we talk about the Odu Ifa, there is an actual Odu called Torah, a Torah pan. So that is by contrast, uh, the Torah is more focused on communal laws and obligations. Uh, Ifa is highly personalized and about the individual. That's why I believe it's more uh, uh, important for society because it talks about the individual's plight, the individual's health, and then the um, microcosm versus the macrocosm and how everything affects the whole. Every small thing affects it, uh, itself, each other. Um, the Torah, uh, by contrast, is more about communal laws and the community obligation. I'm not saying that the Torah is not as important, but I would say that, uh, I mean, not as practical, but when you have individuals, you have to uh, sustain for uh, differences in individual personalities and mental health, things like that. So. Is that three okay, are you done? Because you have 30 more seconds. You're good, right? Yep, that's it. All right, great. All right, thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, now, if you will take your screen down and we will let our brother Devion come in and do his three minute opening. Devion, same thing with you, brother. When, when I leave the stage, you, that's when your time will begin. When you see me appear, you will know you have one minute to go with your opening, okay? No, you, I got you. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so, yeah, screen. definitely. Share your screen. All right, let, I'm going to go ahead and let me know when to kick me off, and I'll come back on. Okay. I got to do the entire screen. All right, so. Can you see the screen? Can you see it? Um, okay. Yes, share? I see. Your, I see your screen. And when I go out, I'm just going to start the time over. I'll go out and your time will start. Okay. All right. So the topic is the Torah versus Ifa, which is better or practical for society. But I'm coming from the standpoint of our people, quote unquote, of, of black Americans. That That's what I'm coming from. Right. Uh, the sister said that Ifa is the basis of all religions and even the Torah which is false because uh, keeping the Torah is not a religion. We do not practice Judaism. Israelites do not practice Judaism, and we do not listen to rabbis. So uh, there, there, there is no correlation. The opening, the Torah is superior to the structuring of our people's minds through the use of psychology, right? You can't build a society unless you build up the mind of the people who is in it. Also, effective in governing a nation and their way of life, it is a moral code how to interact with one another in uh, civil interactions. Also, uh, court, right? Uh, jobs. Uh, we also have uh, an economy, right? Prohibits the practices of so-called African spirituality uh, systems, which is witchcraft, as uh, Ifa, which pra they practice uh, divination and ancestor worship. And also comes from Ifa is vo uh, voodoo and centuria, which is also known as witchcraft. Many nations around the world venerate their gods through carved images, as well as uh, does Ifa. Uh, they have over 400 Orishas, which is who they pray to for guidance, who is nothing but uh, deity ancestors. Right? African spirituality is actually animism, the worship of nature, which the Torah prohibits. Right? Uh, many nations around the world practice anim animism. As you can see, that's why she said Ifa is similar to other religions. Well, obviously uh, not the Torah, because the Torah is a book of psychology and the heritage of the children of, of Jacob, not a religion. I'm going to show that the Torah improves the mental capacity, raises the intelligence and skill of the mind, making it more practical for society in order for society to be ran. So with that, I'm going to end there with my closing. Okay, you have one more minute, you know. You good? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, perfect. All right, great. Thank you both of you for that concise uh, intro. And now we can get right into your rounds. Um, now you will be having your first round and your second round, 15 minutes, remember, just to refresh your memories. Uh, DJ Genesis, you're going first. You're going to go into whatever you want to present in your first round, since I know this is your first time. Uh, you we'll have 15 minutes. I'm going to remove myself when your time starts. 
I'm going to show back up on the screen when you have uh, when you were already used up your 14. So you'll know you have a minute remaining. If you want to relinquish your time before I show up, you can definitely say I'm done. Um, keep in mind that you're, you, you should try to use your whole 15 minutes, but if you are done, you're done. And if you, so, so let me know and I'll come back onto the stage and start the brother's time up. Do you have any questions before you get started with your first round? No. Okay, great. So I'm going to remove myself when you screen share, do whatever you need to do. And by the way, if you need to screen share, I'm still right here. I don't have to come back onto the stage. You know what I'm saying? But um, your your time will start when I when you let me know. I'll remove myself from the stage and start your time, the clock. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay, time starts now. All right. Do you see the screen? Hold on. Okay. Um. Well, you don't have to. Uh, did you want to screen share something? Yes, I do want to screen share. Okay, great. There is this your screen share? Yes. Yep. You know you used this already once, right? Or you didn't? I did not. Okay, great. That's yours. Okay, I'm going to start your time right now when I leave the stage. You ready? Yes. Okay, time All starts. Right, so, go ahead. Uh, most Hebrew Israelites believe that they are the ones who were taken from the Atlantic slave trade from West Africa into America, Caribbean, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, South America, North America. The practice in West Africa at the time of the transatlantic slave trade was Ifa, Afa, and various other nature-based cosmological traditions. Not only were they connected, but very much a part of society in, in those parts of Africa, as well as they are currently being practiced in uh, the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, uh, North America, and South America. The Black Hebrew Israelite movement did not really start in America um, until the 1880s uh, when a young man uh, started the movement by the name of Frank Cherry, who co-founded a congregation in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The practice of Ifa actually helped the slaves be freed in Haiti. Okay. Isheshe. The original tradition and the tradition of Ifa is Isheshe, and it is the traditions of antiquity. Now, when we talk about what is more practical for, so for society, well, why not go to the root of your actual truth? Go back to your roots. You know, um, this is where this this is a our nature is the root. You know, uh, it ref refers to uh, Ishe meaning the source of origin and Ishe meaning practice, our original practice, our original ways of, of living, the tra tradition of antiquity, the original tradition. It encompasses the beliefs. Um, and customs and practices that have been passed down through generations, including worship of the Risha, ancestral veneration, and the use of divination systems such as Ifa. Why are the ancestors significant in the Ifa religion? Ancestors are essential in Ifa because they serve as a spiritual guide and protectors and source of wisdom for the living. They act as intermediaries between human and spiritual realms, linking past, present, and future generations. We already venerate our ancestors when we talk about Moses. We talked about Martin Luther King. And then some people believe in Jesus and different ancestors. If, you did, if that person is not existing anymore, they are considered an ancestor. And we venerate ancestors without knowing all every, every day, uh, all day. But we try to uh, separate ourselves by saying, oh, these people worship the ancestors. No, we venerate. We understand the importance of our tie to our ancestors. Honoring and communicating with the ancestors is not just a matter of respect for tradition, but a central spiritual practice that it provides wisdom, guidance, and support in the lives of, of, of the descendants. And we are the descendants of our ancestors. Bringing up this practice is very important in society. Why uh, Why? Why would we say that? It's because we're, if we know where we come from, we know where we're going. Understanding our connection to our ancestors is very important in society. And again, like I said, if we're talking about what's more practical, yes, knowing where we come from, understanding our bloodline, understanding grandma and big mama and people like that that have passed on and, and giving them respect and and keeping their memory and not just forgetting them once we throw them into a nursing home and they pass on and we just let their their memories go. If that is not something that we should practice within society, I don't understand what kind of society we're trying to live in. Our ancient ancestors understood the macrocosm and the microcosm. Ban, uh, Ban, Banneker's religious and spiritual outlook uh, incorporated a, a blend of Israel, natural, Israelite, naturalistic, mis, uh, mystical elements and mystical elements. His almanacs, which included not just scientific data, but also philosophical medica uh, medica meditations and astrological information, 
uh, information reflected a holistic worldview similar to that found in African traditions, where science, spirituality, and nature are all interconnected. Some of his recorded dreams and symbolic references uh, to shapes in cosmological phenomena have been speculated to have roots in Africa, African spiritual knowledge, potentially influenced by ancestral traditions passed down through family lineage. So again, these are these things are Ifa. That is what Ifa is: is understanding where you come from, understanding the ancestors, understanding that all everything uh, in this universe is all connected. So when our ancestors are uh, 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 switch from this energy life form and then their um, uh, energy passes on to the next life form, it doesn't just die. And so understanding that uh, and having a connection to our ancestors is very important. Now, Ifa is a, is a tradition not only of, 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 uh, of, of ancestor understanding, but also of mathematic and scientific. It's a scientific spirituality. And it explains since humans are the microcosm of the macrocosm, which is the supreme being, we too are made up of various divine phenomena. These divine phenomena are both spiritual aspects of them, our mind and physical aspects of the organs of our body. We, we believe in a complex spiritual system centered around Irumalau, the, the deity of wisdom, knowledge, and divination, the use of Odu Ifa, the sacred corpus of verses and divina divinatory patterns that guide practitioner in understanding the will of the divine. The religion, which originates from the Yoruba people of, of West Africa, and also actually it, it, goes, it spans uh, throughout Africa because divination is very known in all natural traditions. All natural traditions have some form of divination, including the Torah. Okay, uh, focuses on the Ori. So Ifa, the Odu Ifa is a collection of oral, oral scriptures containing wisdom, ethical guidelines and teachings, Akashic records in Hindu, yin yang and, ta and Taoism. All ancient practices, including Torah, have a form of divination. It focuses on ethical living, emphasizes wisdom, patience, and harmonious living. Rituals and practices, sacrifices, and offerings are performed to seek guidance, create balance, and promote wellness. Ifa structure is the macrocosm affects the microcosm. So the universe, everything that happens to you is happening within the universe, on the earth, et cetera. We are connected. There is no separation. The, the, basically, the Odu is the womb. The Odu is is what we are in with, with inside. This is the, the, the actual cosmic mother. The word Orisha, Ifa and Ori. The word Orisha is related to several other Yoruba words and it's, it's speaking of the head. When we talk about the head, uh, the Torah uh, has a complex uh, a concepts of Orisha and Ori um, and their uh, closest uh, parallels are in the roles of angels Malakim and the soul, Nasham, uh, Nash, Nishama, uh, just as the Orisha act as intermediaries, mediators between Oludumar and humans, each governing uh, aspect of nature and human life, angels serve as God's messengers, each with spe specific responsibilities like guidance, protection, protection or delivering divine messages. Um, Isha's, uh, Ifa's concept of the macrocosm versus microcosm reflects the belief that the entire universe is mirrored within the individual human being, microcosm, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all creation. This principle suggests that every element of the cosmos, including their reaches, natural forces, and spiritual energies, exist within the human being in a smaller individualized form. For example, just as the universe has a distinct forces that govern dis different aspects of existence, uh, ergo agun representing strength, Oshun representing love. Uh, these same forces are present within the individual's character, emotions, and destiny. The human being through their or re inner head or spiritual essence is seen as a reflection of the divine uh, order and maintaining alignment and balance within oneself to ensure harmony with the broader universe. This concept underscores the idea that by understanding and harmonizing the inner self, one can impact and align with the outer world, making the microcosm macrocosm principle a foundational framework for achieving spiritual balance and self-realization. This is the foundation of Ifa, and it affects the spirit, the community, your mental well, uh, health, physical, and environment. Hold on. 
I did want to go into the word Orisha. It's related to several other Yoruba words. Uh, it's ori, ori means your Ori is your conscience, your head. Sha is selector. So when you're really talking about Orisha, you're not talking about, you think that you're talking about like these creatures or beings or whatever, something outside of yourself. But all the Orisha is, is basically you. <laughs> It is basically your body, your head. It represents everything within with, uh, within you and your mind. And then it actually uh, uh, connects to the body in different ways. The closest thing I would say in Torah uh, is the Harishonim, the Sarim Harishonim in Daniel 10 verses uh, 13 in Exodus 19 verses 6. Uh, uh, and ye shall be unto, unto me a kingdom of priests, Kahonim, um, and as a set apart, consecrated, holy nation set aside for a righteous purpose as, as, as example to all. These are the words which thou hast speak unto the children of Israel. So in Ifa, like we are not just only uh, uh, considered like um, individual, uh, like uh, like we only have a priesthood and this and the other. Everybody has has a different aspect of a orisha that governs them and it, break, it breaks down into society and makes up the entire society. So some person might have an orisha that's more of uh, Oshun, so they might be uh, uh, responsible for the for uh, relationships in the community. Some person might be more of a orisha of uh, Oya, and she might be of the marketplace in the community. Some person might be have an orisha of Ogun. They're more of like the protectors and like the police of the community. So we believe that everyone is born with an or with an orisha, and everybody has a specific. Uh, a destiny in this on this earth, and that the orisha that you have on your head, your actual consciousness, your ori, sha, the, your consciousness holder, it, it determines your uh, destiny, and it's and that orisha is with you throughout your life, and it determines like as, aspects of your personality, and it 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 determines uh, things like like taboos for that individual person that the person should not uh, take take a uh, part in, foods they should not eat. Uh, because, you know, you could say, oh, well, everybody shouldn't eat uh, fish. Well, guess what? Some people should eat fish. Some people shouldn't. Some people should eat beef. Some people shouldn't eat beef. Everybody has a different diet based on, like, who they are, where they where, what, what climate they're in, what Orisha owns their head. One person might have a, a taboo of not ever eating eggs for, for the rest of their life when they actually get initiated. Some people might have a taboo of never eating goat or chicken. So based on their ori sha, um, they, that determines like the actual taboos within their life. Certain colors they probably shouldn't wear because it brings about about a certain thing. So, so the ori, um, uh, it stands over rules and guides and controls a person's actions. Right. So when you talk about ori sha, these are not like I said, uh, like just like some kind of like um. I don't know <laughs> when when he talks about witchcraft and this that the other. I mean, it's this really a scientific uh, system. So, Ifa and mental health and counseling. Uh, so, in if the Ifa the the in Ifa the Odu Ifa provides a sophisticated framework for understanding and addressing mental health from a holistic perspective. Through divination, rituals, counseling, and spiritual practices, Ifa priests aim to restore balance and harmony between the mind, spirit, and environment, allowing for comprehensive mental and emotional healing. This approach integrates spiritual insight with practical guidance, making the Odu Ifa a powerful tool for managing mental health, challenging a culturally relevant and spiritual meaningful way. Now, I'm not sure how it goes in the Torah. Like you probably, if you're having a problem, you read the Bible and then I guess you feel mentally fulfilled. Well, how it's broken down in a, in the, in a society within Ifa is that you have a certain priest that you go to, you get consultation on a regular basis. And then when you're going through certain issues that, that Baba Lao counsels you throughout your life. To, and then as you become a priest yourself, then you're able to actually counsel yourself. So it's a growth series, uh, thing that you, uh, that uh, basically into priesthood. Some people decide to be priests. Some people just decide to continue to be a client. Um, in Ifa, the Baba Lao and the Olorisha are the doctors. We are the mental health practitioners. We are the doctors. Certain uh, Olorisha are actually more prone towards um, mental health uh, ability, counseling people. Some uh, Olorisha or Baba Laos are more prone to uh, counseling in a, from a um, 
like uh, using herbs and things like that. Some are more into like being almost like a doctor. Um, some are more based on like more spiritual aspects. So all those, all the different, um, the priest make up different layers of society and what a person might need to, to actually make, make them be a better person. And so if I'm a priest, that's more inclined to just divination and telling you like, okay, this is what you need to look out for. I'll send you to another priest in the community, uh, Olorisha that might be more uh, prone or inclined into herbs and medicine because they have that particular Orisha on their heads. So they might be more of a sign. So, so me, I might be more divination. I send you to a sign because it came out that you're sick or that you need some kind of like, you know, help from like a, a herbal standpoint. And I would send you to that priest. Then that priest would, uh, you know, they would do their, their uh, divination and find out, okay, well this, or based on the Odu that you come with, if they, you say, this is the Odu that came out, they'll say, okay, well, if you have stomach problems, then you should take this herb. So it's, it's a combination of just, it's a holistic approach. So it's almost like going to the doctor and, you uh, go to your general practitioner and then you go to a specialist once they find out what's wrong with you. So you go to the emergency room. The Babalao, I would say, is the emergency room doctor, right? He does the, the reading and then, okay, well, it looks like you need to go to a specialist because your stomach is, you need to get, get the whatever. And then he gives you a prescription. You take that prescription off to the um, to the stomach doctor. Time. So that's, that's how it works. Thank you so much, Genesis. Uh, uh, thank you very much for the first round. And um, just as you see how it works, Genesis, I want to show back up. Just know, start winding down. You have a minute left. So you did great. Thank you. And now, Brother Je Devion, when you are ready uh, to share your screen, same thing as you know. When I remove myself, you let me know when you're ready to go. I'll remove myself, and that's when your time begins. Then when I show back up, you have a minute left. So let me know when you're well. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Time begins now. All right. Uh, I don't know why the sister keeps saying that uh, Ifa is similar to the Tor, which is not. Uh, the Tor strictly prohibits uh, ancestor worship, which the Orishas, which I'll get to later in the, in the presentation, are actually deified ancestors. Right. So going back to the Tor. Right. I'm going to show that it raises the intelligence and which makes it more practical for society. When I say it raises intelligence, the, the uh, mental capacity, you know, uh, ideas, inventions, uh, inventiveness. So I'm going to continue. Psychology. The Torah is a book of psychology to improve the mind or thinking patterns of an individual for productivity, which is mathematics, geometry, higher conceptions of thought. Right. Uh, chashav, which also means think. To think, the, the study of the mind or the spirit, which is the rawak. Now, how can the worship of nature or physical things, right? How can that improve the mind or the spirit with something that you cannot see? The Torah is represented as wisdom or kakama, as well as teaching or instruction, which comes from yawara, which means to teach or to direct or to instruct. The, the Torah also rep represents water, which is uh, a sense of refreshness or reflection or contemplation. That's why it says we shall teach it to, to our children. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 through 9. I I'm not going to read all of them. I'm going to get to the important parts. It says, A hero Israel, Yahweh our God, Yahweh is one. You shall love Yahweh your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might, or your resources, or your, or your diligence. Which said, you if you seek me with all your mind, your heart, and your soul, you will find me. And she said, uh, also said that uh, Ifa is practiced in West Africa and and in uh, the Caribbean and right, which came Voodoo and Santeria came from it. Now, but it says that our people are spread to the four corners of the earth, and that we lost our heritage while we're in the land of our captivity. That's why it says in the land of your captivity, you will remember yourselves or bethink yourselves. Now, it's right. It says you shall teach or yara, which means to teach or to instruct or to direct them diligent, diligently to your children. And you shall talk of them while you sit in your home, when you walk in the way and when you lie down and when you arise. Now, there's this concept in the Torah of the temple, which represents you as an individual. But it also represents Israel as a whole. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand or a sign which is a miracle or a wonder 
on your hand, which is your yah, which means your work or your practice or your praise. And they shall be frontlets or uh, top the fath between your eyes, which, which is uh, conspicuous or to stand out or to be contemplative uh, upon. You shall write uh, them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates. The kathab means to write a uh, doorpost, which also means to like stick out or be co uh, conspicuous of your house, which this word here, bayat, which means the temple, but it also means within or the mind of the spirit or upon your gates, which is the sha'ar, which means your thoughts or or your, or your uh, it also means a gate. Right. So when it says uh, there was a, a, a gate for all the, the tribes of Israel. In fourth section, the gate, it also means your thoughts. So the Torah is not uh, one dimensional. Right? This is just a, this is just a, a recap on what I just went through. Like Sha'ar, which also means your thoughts or your gates. The concept of building the mind, which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yata'a, which means knowledge or accumulation of facts or information. Kakama, which is wisdom, to be skillful, a wise hearted, intelligent. To, to, to use the mind in order to, to build, bayan, to build, mental mental separation, discernment, skillful, to teach or to think. Right? When it says uh, we have been made in their image, it means to use knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in, in order to create. Brain lateralization is the process by which different areas of the brain are specialized to, to perform different functions such as language, memory, and motor control, which, as you can see, is brain lateral lateralization. You have the, the left brain and right brain. Uh, left brain is usually more uh, logistics or uh, like uh, problem solving. The right side is more art artistic, which is creativity, you know, and, and things of that nature. Uh, intuition, art. The Torah always deals with the mind of the spirit and the fruit that it bears. There are many enigmas and allegories throughout the Torah that pertain to the growth of the man or the nation of Israel. Now, back to what I was saying, the, our people's minds have to be right in order to build a society. So if our people's minds aren't right, as if we came uh, out of Egypt from a, a, a matarayam, which means a strait or trouble or affliction. That's why I say we're going to a land flowing with milk and honey, which is kalab and uh the Bosch, which means healing and sustenance, or the best part, or the choice part, right? Which is also uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Which, when you store it up, which as uh, rubies and jewels. Psalms one nineteen verse eighteen. Uncover my eyes that I shall look at the hidden things, the uh, the palea, from your tharawa, the hidden things, the hidden things, or the miracles of the Torah, the ability to wage war with strategy. And strengthen the functions of the mind. That's, that's why it also says we are to teach them to our to our children that we have a continuing growing society, right? And you also have the lobes of the brain, which is the functions of the brain, but which also be the mind or the spirit. You got the frontal lobe with problem solving, motivation, judgment, decision making, social behavior, personality, memory. This is this is all the tour. This is psychology. The the uh, uh, the occipital lobe, which which is a visual memory, auditory, which is hearing perception, uh, frequency, parietal lobe, which is awareness, from like touch, uh, memory, like muscle memory. We gonna continue on the the lobes of the brain, or the functions of the mind. To build the temple man, inward man, the hedged about mind. As you can see here, there's Ezekiel's temple, there's the tabernacle, and then there's Solomon's temple. But they all represent you as an individual, but actually also the whole of the nation of Israel. And then also, remember I said the gates. This, this is your head. And also you as a, a like the laying down man. It represents you. The renewal of man or the renewal of the mind or the spirit. That has nothing to do with ancestor worship. We're not worshiping Moses. We're not worshiping David. We're not doing none of that. Because when they when they inquire of the Orishas, is they don't they don't pray to Oladumare. They pray to the Orishas, which is over four hundred different gods. 
that they deified of ancestors, which is uh, forbidden in the Torah, which is called familiar spirits and, and conjuring, but we're going to get to it. Is Exodus 25, verse 8 and 9. And they shall make a sanctuary, or Kadash, and I will dwell in their midst, according to all that I show you. The pattern, which is the, 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 the bond of the tabernacle of the Mashakan, and the pattern, the Thaban, and all its vessels, the Kaleh, so shall you do. The bond, which, right, th this word, the bond, which also comes from bond, which means to build, or build it, but it also means like the sun or like children, right? But it still means to build, or, or like to grow. Form, structure. Skillful, reason, build, intelligence, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So when it's talking about building the sanctuary, it's talking about building up the mind or the hedged about mind. The bond. Also, when we were in Egypt, this is an exodus. It said we had to use straw, which comes from the word the which means straw, which is what we use to make bricks, which is laban, which means to make a brick in order to build. It also means white, which means like purity. But it means the use of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Building blocks for the mind or the spirit. As I just said, Laban, which means brick or whiteness or refinement. So something hewn. Something uh, chiseled. And also, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is nothing but height, length, and width. So she's talking about mathematics. The Torah is nothing but mathematics and geometry. The word uh, emma which means a cubit, also comes from a mind, which means faith, right? It means faith and also means to be skillful as being a builder or structural integrity. Although there was an actual temple, it represented the refinement and renewal of an individual's mind or spirit coming from a fruitless state of stagnation to a state of productivity, which is coming out of Egypt which is Matsurayam or Tsar, which means a trouble or a strait to the land flowing with milk and honey, which would be you know, the land of Israel, but in, in, it means healing and sustenance. But God will, this part, for First Kings verse 8, I mean, First Kings chapter 8, verse 27 through 29. But will God, he, but will God indeed dwell on earth? Behold, the heaven and the, the heavens of heavens cannot contain you, much less this temple that I have erected. Now, it said that that's the temple that I have erected. So that is not talking about like an actual place. It's, ta it's talking about the, the mind or the spirit. The, yeah, how it doesn't dwell in a building. It says it dwells in the, in the midst, which means your mind and your heart. That your eyes may be open toward this house night and day, toward the place which you said my name will be there. To listen to the prayer that your servant will pray toward this, this place. And it's also found in Hosea verse 6. Where, where it says he will uh, revive us after two days, and on the third day he will raise us up. That's the renewal of man, or the renewal of the mind and spirit, or the newborn generation. Exodus 3, verse 18. And they will hearken to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders, to the king of Egypt, and you shall say to him, Yahweh God of the Abariyam, which means the, the crossing over ones, not doesn't mean Hebrew, it means the ones who cross over from a state of stupidity, to a state of spiritual enlightenment happened upon us. And now let us go for a three day journey in the desert and offer up sacrifices to our God. The, the word three, shalash, it means three. We were in the wilderness for actually three days. The number three means top rank, chief, captain, a prestigious mind, or to be a master of the mind or the spirit. As I stated before, Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which, which is also the Torah, is crucial in the development of a man or a nation. It builds foundation, expands mental capacity, and the, and the ability to problem solve, creativity, and inventiveness, which means uh, ideas. So nothing about no ancestor worship, nothing about uh, venerating the ancestors, none of that. The degrees of the temple was the process of refinement. For man or nation of Israel and moral code in a sense of removing the dross of gold to get the purest form of it, which means to master the mind. Gold, you have to burn off the dross to get the purest form, whether it be any metal. You have, it, you have to burn off the dross. So it would be, quote unquote, the old man being uh, renewed in order to, to uh, take on 
uh, other aspects that would be, make him noble or majestic or, you know what I'm saying, to be at a, a, a state of majesty. Not actually like a king, but, you know, uh, one who wears the uh, the crown holy to Yahweh. The three degrees of the temple, which you have the, the El Olam, which is here, where it says the porch, which means to, uh, to uh, silence yourself. But there also is a lily there, which is a shower shan, which also means renewal. The Hayakal, which is the sanctuary, which means to be able to or to overcome. And then you have the Dabaya, which is the Holy of Holies, which is up here, which represents the mind, which is also where the Ark of the Covenant and Yahweh said, I will meet you upon the Ark, upon the cover of the Ark of the Covenant, which is the mind. He said, there I shall see, see, set my meetings with you. It's not talking about a physical temple. But remember, in, in order to have a society that's functioning without the influence of other nations, this is already provided for us. We don't have to go uh, take on the traditions and the cultures of other nations. This is already provided for us. The three degrees continue, right? You have the, uh, th this is pertaining to the first degree, the Masabak, Nakashat, which means to learn by experience or the copper altar where, where the animal is sacrificed, which the animal also represents you, you being upon the altar. Parab, which means your offering or your sacrifice or the innermost part. You have the the, the Shane uh, Amadam Nakasha, which is the two pillars, which is also the, the wilderness area coming from Egypt to the land flowing milk and honey. But it's the testing and trials of man. The Shawashan, which is the lily, or the or the renewal. Right? And then you have the Hayakal, which contains the, the menorah, which is the Manara, which also means to flow as water. But also the seven priesthoods, also the seven pillars of wisdom. Shalakan Shatam uh, Ats, which is the tables of uh, acacia wood. Uh, sh Shatayam, which means to go uh, to and fro. Ats, which also means council. Okay, I'm going to leave right there. Okay, thank you so much for that. Thank you, Genesis. Thank you, Devion. Great presentations from both of you. I just want to let you know we're going to the second round. I'm going to go straight into it, Genesis. You can do, if you want to rebut anything that he says, just for Genesis, you can, but I'm not going to say, you know, this is this part of your 15 minutes is a rebuttal. Do what you want with your 15 minutes, starting when you, when I remove myself. Want me to screen share this? Yes. When I remove myself, that's when your time starts. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll be back in 14 minutes. All right, so, you know, uh, we we're talking about the mind and all that stuff and what he's saying. But I don't see where you can practice any of that in normal society without someone breaking all that down to you. Whereas in Ifa, like it's pretty simple because you you have a priest in place to actually break all that down. Like, I mean, I got confused if I like this is my first time hearing all that, and I have no idea what the hell he was talking about. Like, so imagine a person that's just new. Imagine a person with mental illness, and you're trying to explain all that, all that to them, and, and uh, the, this and the, and the inner side of the blah, 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 the mind. No, you know what? In, in in Ifa, you know what I'm saying. Bottom line is, is that look, the Odu, you go to a, a Babalao, he gives you a reading. Based on that, you get diagnosed with whatever the problem is. The Odu is broken down into various aspects of the body, like it's it 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 breaks down your digestion, re your respiratory rate, your rep reproductive functions, your you know your if your all these different sexual functions, whatever. And when you get your reading, you understand what is going on with a person mentally, as well as physically. Now he keeps talking about the Orisha and the ancestors. First of all, your ancestors are a part of your DNA. They they make up who you are. You, people are talking about you worshiping the ancestors. Well, you're worshiping yourself <laughs> because your ancestors make up all everything that you are is is everything that came before you through your bloodline. So what do you mean like that we're worshiping? It's not ancestor worship. It's the, 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 well, you know what? If you don't know where you came from, you don't even know that if you got uh, something hereditary or not. I could have a heart problem that my grandmother had. My grandfather, if, if I know right now that my, uh, my grandparents and my people that passed down that my grandma had diabetes and had, um, uh, uh, high, co high blood, uh, high thing. And so I know that when I see it within the family, that it's okay. This is a this is a hereditary. 
So, so you're talking about the worship of the ancestors. We venerate our ancestors because we understand that that is, they they are the source of to who we are today. So when we try to, they try, he's trying to like downplay the role of the people that came before us. And to be, it's just insane to like think about that like that. When and we wouldn't even be here if, if people didn't come before us. So just to give that reverence is 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 evil and witchcraft and the Torah is against that. Okay, well then, how? Well, why do you talk about Moses then? That, that this, why are you giving him reverence and push pumping him up and let my people go and all the other stuff? You should not talk about Moses. You should not talk about any. You shouldn't even talk about what is the purpose of the Torah if you're not talking about people from the past. And then you're talking about how do you diagnose illness using that? We're talking about what is more practical in society. How do you diagnose illness? When a person reads the Torah, how do they know if they're sick or not? And who tells them? Is it a priest? What? What is, who? You just read that and you know what to do? You read the book and that's it? You, you and then you just know off rip okay the mind and this and, and this square and all, you know all this you have you when you read that such an enlightenment should just come upon you that you understand that no in our in if you have priests you have babala you have orisha priests that are that understand these things they make up an aspect of the community the orisha are not just uh things that, that are worshiped as some kind of like thing outside of god these are aspects of the body physical health your brain, your eyes, your ears, Ibeji, Arumila, the brain, Obatala, the eyes, Shango, the heart, Olokun, the blood. You understand? And when you get your reading in Ifa from a Babala or Olorisha, they are able to diagnose. Ifa is a scientific system of diagnosis of illness from a mental standpoint. From a physical standpoint, from a side of society, so they'll tell you, okay, watch out for this in society. Watch out for this in your health. You you're going through some mental issues. You you might you're feeling like kind of sad. You ain't had no sleep lately. You wonder about. Okay, well guess what? And then you might then you might find out. Okay, well go and take do this. Go and uh go to the go get these herbs and go take a bath. Okay, we're, I'm gonna do a omiero bath, and then that's made up of certain herbs based on the odu that comes out. There might be if if it's really bad, or you might be on the on death's door. They might say, okay, we might need to do a sacrifice or do something a little bit more stronger because you about to you about to check out. You 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 are so imbalanced that you you and it's all about creating what iwapele and balance in the person in the body in the body, the mind, the spirit, and the community as a whole. Because what did I say earlier before? The microcosm affects the ma macrocosm. And the microcosm affects the uh, the macro versus the micro. So all these things are are effective all across the board. Everything that you do affects the universe. Everything that uh, the universe does affects happen. It also it's all connected basically. And then we get into Iwe herbs, okay? In the environmental structure of Ifa, all right. All the Arisha are connected for specific herbs. Those specific herbs connect to a certain organ or physical part of the body. So we we are we people get so wrapped up in the pictures and the images of the Orisha, but if you don't really go deeper into it, you would never know that this is really bodily functions. That these, you know, and then when you get it deeper into it, you'll find out, oh, okay, well, you guys are you guys are um are, are getting all y'all you guys are getting uh uh using sacrifices and this, that, the other. Okay, sacrifice could take many forms. Maybe giving up something, like not eating a certain thing. Maybe eating a certain thing like this you normally probably wouldn't do. Maybe do fasting, changing in behavior. It both translates as an offering or a sacrifice. It has a broader meaning, uh, uh, modifying the energy field. You do uh, stop what you've been doing this. Whatever, try something different. That's the sacrifice. That's the ebo. You're talking about um, that it's a demonic thing. You know they're gonna get. He's gonna get into a de demon. That you, you know the eat the the orisha, the ancestors, their demons, and this, that, the other. You know. But there's a difference between we, we we understand that there's a difference between demonic possession and spiritual possession. When a person is possessed, okay, a, a possession can even cannot not can not only just be um uh like the, that they're acting you know if hey a person can just be acting strangely, you know it's like uh, like in schizophrenia you know a person was normally acting one way and now they're acting a certain different way they are possessed at that point and it might be a demonic possession you know what I'm saying. 
So there, there's a different. We, 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 we have accounts for demonic possession versus spiritual possession. You know what I'm saying? Now, when we talk about uh, these different types of possessions that happen, those things are also spoke about in the Torah. We talk about King Saul, um, uh, the, the one of the clearest examples of, 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 of a demonic possession, uh, where Saul was overtaken by the Spirit of God uh, and begins to prophesy, uh, appearing to lose control of his normal functions. Right, so that's 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 uh, 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 some possessions. But he said, but it said that the uh, the evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. So I don't understand how the Lord is going to send the evil uh, 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 evil uh, spirit, you know, to torment him. But you know, bottom line is is that both of these things uh, talk about the the uh, 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 the same exact uh, things in some kind of a way. But uh, I think that a lot of time it's very misunderstood from an ephah perspective that. Oh, okay, what you're doing is witchcraft, but then you have the same exact thing in the Torah. You'll say, oh, no, this is not, no, we, the Torah is against that, but then you can read it right out of the Torah, exactly the same thing happening. The similar practices. All right, so when you actually get into uh, possession in um, uh, in uh, in Ifa, you know, music is a huge part of Ifa. Uh, when we actually really break down um, music, music forms a semi-solid mass. If you understand string, ser uh, string theory that about when we talk about vibration and all those things, when you combine herbs, you combine uh, the readings, you combine the singing, you understand that all this stuff is really a, a, a whole aspect of uh, how the community works. You know what I'm saying? You'll find that even today, that music it causes spiritual possession. And why? Because the actual uh, hertz of music, 432 hertz, uh, we, we call the edgy ogbe, pr promotes healing, clarity, and a sense of oneness. Oyeko meji, uh, it causes grounding, pain relief, and calming of fear. Transformation of DNA, that's uh, 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 agunda meji, uh, cutting through obstacles. Uh, Orosu meji, health and restoration. Now, when when uh, when people like talk about the rituals that we do and you say that this person is getting possessed by the ancestors and that we're worshiping the ancestors, understand that all this is really scientific stuff. It's not like this uh, spooky thing that we have. a Everything can be explained in a scientific manner. Um, and we are very aware us practitioners understand and know how to break that thing down when you're talking about the Torah and how. Uh, for uh, practice when, he, when in practice in society, you this this so much. How can you really, if you don't understand from a a, a a a very deep level what all those things mean in the Torah? How can you heal yourself? When but the difference between a person in the Torah and the Ifa is that Ifa the 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 priests are there to give you the direction in the in the community to actually explain those things to you and to actually heal you along the way. If you just read the Torah, you're going to be confused. Like, what are you talking, how, how am I going to connect that to my brain, and how do I heal myself? What you just said. How? Do, okay, well, that's the, the brain, and this, that, the other, and uh, I don't understand how that is going to heal society. Uh, we need an overall system that uh, that understands things, that breaks things down from a community aspect, from a a health vibration spirituality um, that understands how to heal us and and understands like through herbs okay uh, you, that you could that these things get broken down very uh, detailed the people in that practice of ifa understood herbology very well and understood how to heal themselves understood not only how to eat the certain things but to to heal themselves through what they ate and all those things are in the odu in, in the actual odu ifa the Odu Ifa is over, I would say almost, I mean, I couldn't even tell how many, like 400,000 pages of, of, if you actually were to actually write it down. So that's how immense that the, the, the body of knowledge is, you know, so it, and it accounts for everything from, 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 from every situation that can possibly any combination, 256 combinations, uh, 16 major, 400,000 or more, uh, uh, variations of of situations that could affect your life in any given way.
And, and the bottom line is, is that when you have a system that's that deep, of course, that would be more relevant for society. Why? Because society is always changing. Individuals need individualistic, not a group uh, uh, a, a solution. We've had the group solution and it has not done us any good. But when we actually applied the individual solution to the problem, then okay, now we come, now we 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 getting somewhere. When when people practice voodoo, which is an offshoot of Ifa, because Ifa is the 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 print the, the thing of divination, right? So most pra, pra, uh, voodoo's uh, people that practice voodoo practice Ifa. Ifa is a is usually you have Ifa, you have Condomble, you have all voodoo, all those things fall under the Ifa umbrella, right? They were able to conquer. They were able to get out of slavery from that. You know, they were able to def defeat their uh their um the French. Why? Because they they had the actual understanding of the herbs. They understood the land. They understood how to the fauna in the form of the earth. They had the priest. They had the understanding. And then all those people, because of the the, the connection of between Ifa and the community in Africa. All those people, even though they came from different parts of Africa, were still able to work together and commune with each other, even though they were separate tribes, because spiritually they had an understanding. And that's why they were able to overcome. And that, and I believe that the system that exists today, it wants to keep us uh, 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 you know, in a box. Me, as an Ifa practitioner, I have nothing against a person that's a Torah, and I can learn the Torah. But you would say to me as an Ifa practitioner, what you are doing is evil, witchcraft, this, that, the other. Meanwhile, people are getting okay, you can you you go to you go to an herbalist, half the what half the stuff they're doing is in the Ifa. All the herbs and fauna, I'm sorry, let me go back to the herbs. All the herbs and all the understanding of herbology and of the body is 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 all Ifa. Sorry, let me get back to this. When you talk about the Orisha, you think that you're talking about some kind of a deity, but you're really talking about yourself. When you think you're talking about the ancestors, you think that the, the ancestors are outside of yourself, that, but no, you, they are part of you. That's my time. Thank you. Uh, you relinquished the, the last minute. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Now going into your second round, your 15 minute round, Devion, uh, let me know when you want me to start your time. I will come back when you have a minute left. Uh, you wanna yeah. share a screen? Yeah, I'm gonna share my screen. Got it. Everyone, please hit the like and share the debate, support the debaters, support the channel. All right, Devion, let me know you, tell me when you're ready. All right. Time starts now. I don't, I don't know why she keeps trying to e equate Ifa with the Torah. And I'm a, I, actually, I'm going to show in the presentation where they say Orishas are deities that they worship and do rituals. But there's also herbs in the Torah. I, 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 don't, I don't need to go to a, a priest to know that I'm sick. I, I, come on, man. There's many, there's many herbs within the Torah. There, there's cumin, coriander, dill, hyssop, mint. Anise, garlic, mustard seed. There, there's cinnamon. There, there's also something called uh, quanabasham, which is what's also, also they call uh, cannabis. There, there, there's already herbs in the Torah. The Torah has everything that you need in order to build a society and sustain the, the people of the nation. Also, improve the mind at the same time. Right. So let's get to it. This this Ezekiel forty three verse ten. Remember, I was talking about the temple or the house or the bayat. Well, I, I, I know she don't understand it because obviously she don't know the Torah. So describe the house, describe the house or the bayat to the house of Israel. Like I said before, which is also the temple, which represents you. It says, if they are ashamed of all that they have done, let them know the form of the house which or the bayat or the temple. And its scheme, its exits, its entrances, all its forms, and all it says laws, but it's actually Tharawa, which means instructions or teachings. And all its teachings was also Yara, which means to direct. And write them down in their sight so that they keep the whole form of thereof and the laws and do them. The temple represents you, improvement of the inward man, that you may be wise and discerning in the eyes of the nations. Right? 
in the nations that are among us or around us. And that's why I said in the land of your captivity, you will remember yourselves. The nation, the, the Torah requires you to apply your mind for productivity and skillfulness through the use of noetics and superconsciousness, not through the use of witchcraft, which I, I don't know why she keeps saying it's not witchcraft. I'm going to show you later in the in the presentation. I want to read this, too. This is Proverbs 1. It says, in order to make known words, wisdom of, and discipline, to make words of understanding discernible, to accept wise discipline, righteousness, justice, and fairness, to prove, to provide simpletons with cleverness, a youth with knowledge and design, and a wise woman hearing and increase his learning, and, and the discerning one may acquire strategies to understand parable and epigram, the words of the wise and their enigmas. There's many allegories throughout the Torah, which you, they're like knots and riddles. You have to apply your mind or your spirit in order to understand. Uh, talking about venerating the ancestors and uh, Orisa worship, do it does nothing for the mind. And remember, she said uh, demon possession. Well, demons are also spirits too. So when they call on their Orishas and they go into a trance like state, losing consciousness, well, let, let's see if that's uh, helpful for the mind or, or deteriorates it. And she's also, she also said uh, sacrifices. So let's see what the sacrifices are. The sacrifices Yahweh desires. But you do not wish a sacrifice or I should give it. You do not desire a burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are broken or shabar, which is spirit, uh, shabar, which means broken, or spirit, rawak, which also means mind. Oh God, you will not despise a broken and crushed heart. Right? Because the heart also means mind, which is lav or uh, labab. But it means uh, broken. Uh, one who's who's uh, poor in the mind. Then you will desire sacrifices of righteousness, a burnt offering, a whole offering, and then they will offer up bulls on your altar. So, so, so you're talking about uh, mental illness, right? That's what the, the Torah is uh, to improve those who are hindered from uh, concepts other than uh, of carnality or of earthbound. So let's go to Psalms 40. You desire neither sacrifice nor meal offering. You dug ears for me, a burnt offering or a sin offering you did not request. Then I said, behold, I have come with the scroll of a book that is written for me. Oh, God, I desire to do your will. You have uh, and, and to have your thought, your thought, why in, in my innards, which is uh, innards is uh, my eye. And thought, which is instruction or teaching. So. When they're talking about sacrifices, the most high didn't, didn't desire no sacrifices. It's talking about you improving yourself or the renewal. She, she's talking about body parts and 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 uh bubble out and uh herbs and how is that supposed to help the mind? The sacrifices represent the refinement of man. You can find this in Leviticus 3. You we we sacrifice of the flock and we sacrifice of the bulls, but they represent you. Korab, which means to come near or to approach, or the animal's thought. These are all things that we had to offer of the animals. Korab, which means sacrifice, also means oblation, or to come near, or the mind, or sacrifice, or the innards. So it does mean to give up something. Not, not, not to eat something more. Like, what, come on, man. It's talking about uh, to give up something of your former self, which is uh, example like the, the gold I gave, to... Burn off the dross. You have blood or dam or dama, which means likeness or similitude of the animal that's being sacrificed, which is supposed to be uh, unblemished, which also means like pure or like a pure heart and mind, which good, with good intentions. Kalab, which means choice or best part, fat, milk or sustenance, like going to the land flowing with milk and honey. It's it's a hedged about mind state. Kidneys, the kalaya, which you also get this word kale, which means like a vessel. Or, or something to be used. Kidneys or the interior mind. To use your mind. Kasal, which means confidence. To be firm. Or also means like the flanks or the loins. Also means hope. The kabod, which means liver or honor, respect, wealth, splendor. Wealth of the mind. To store up knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Allah, which also means to ascend, arise, elevate, or a burnt offering. So that's what the offerings represent. It represent you. The sacrifices Yahweh desires is a broken mind spirit. Or which is a rock and contrite heart. This notes the humble, the lowly, the meek, and those who seek Yahweh will find him. The Torah makes the simple one wise, as I just read in Pro uh, Proverbs 1. 
But wait, they use human sacrifice in Yoruba culture? How is this beneficial for anybody? Ifa also birthed Voodoo and Santeria, which follows the same principles and rituals of traditional Ifa. And they also use uh, aspects of Catholicism. Blood sacrifice is the... Oh, 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 I need to make this big so I can see this. Come on, man. Blood sacrifice is the most important and efficient of all sacrifices in the understanding of African rituals. This is evident in the offering of animal and human beings. Human sacrifice is also predominant in Yoruba culture and religion. This is a practice found in every race and culture throughout the world. Ah, boy, it's not found in the Torah because we weren't sacrificing no people. We, we didn't believe in uh, human sacrifice. And like I said, the sacrifices represent you. But I, I guess obviously they was uh, sacrificing humans. This is a uh, this is a palace, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, located in the city of Abomi in Benin. Uh, the structure is said to have been built using blood of 41 voodoo sacrifice victims, and a new study indicates that the legend is probably true. The but right, oh, 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 still human sacrifice. The binding of the walls is not standard mortar, but it is claimed to be uh, made of red oil and lustrous and lustral water. Mixed with the blood of 41 sacrificial victims. 41 being a sacred number in voodoo. Proto, uh, protomic, pro, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to say the word. Pro, uh, protomic results also confirm the presence of hemoglobin and immunoglo, uh, immuno, go, uh, damn, immunoglobulins from both humans and chickens, proving that the wall bender is indeed made of human blood. Well, human sacrifice. Well, I, mean, I guess that's, that's what they was doing in Yoruba culture. How is that sacrificial? I mean, how is that uh, beneficial for any of our people? Human sacrifice? Come on, man. Forbidden practices in the Torah. The Torah prohibits the worship of other nations' gods in their practices, especially the practice of witchcraft and the reversal of natural law. Deuteronomy 18. When you come to the land, Yahweh, your God, is giving you, you shall not learn to do like the abominations of those nations. Uh, what they were doing. You have the uh, Jebusite. The Canaanites, the Ammonites, the, whatever they were doing, that that's why they got kicked out the land because uh, they wanted to be uh, uh, mohos, uh, sacrifice humans, sacrifice their children, uh, practice sorcery. There shall be not found among you anyone who passes his son or daughter through fire, a soothsayer, a divine of all auspicious times, one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or a charmer. A Pithom sorcerer, a Yada all sorcerer, which means to know, or a necromancer. So when she brought up Saul, he had an evil spirit on him because he wanted to kill David, who was anointed. Well, if she if she knew the Torah, then she would know that. But he had an evil spirit on him, and what did he do? He went to a conjurer or, or a witch. So of course he had a demon on him, or a, a, a evil spirit. For whoever does this, for whoever does these things, is an abomination to Yahweh. And because of these abominations, Yahweh your God is driving them out before you, which is what happened. Ifa is polytheistic, even though they claim to be monotheistic. But they pray, sacrifice, and do rituals to worship their many orishas as shrines, which takes one ex which takes on aspects of nature. Steeped in ancient West African tradition or spiritual tradition of the Yoruba people, Ifa honors a pantheon of deities called orishas, which are representations of elements of nature. These Orishas are led by the supreme creator Ola Dumari, or he goes by Ogun or Oran Miller, or a whole bunch of different names, which nothing but animism. Ifa is animism, which is the worship of nature that's practiced all over the world in other religions, such as Hinduism, Buddhism, etc. She told you at the beginning that Ifa is similar to those nations. Uh, the Torah is not religion. It's uh, a book of psychology. And we don't practice Judaism, so I don't know. I, I don't know why she keeps trying to make the the, the Torah. Ezekiel twenty verse thirty two. But what enters your mind shall not come about. What you say, let us be like the nations, like the families of the lands to serve wood and stone. Yeah, I think not. Let's go. Yahweh is one, and you shall know this day and consider in your heart or your mind or your law that Yahweh He is God in heaven above and upon. Ancestors and Ephraim were often deified and worshipped by his practitioners for divination and contacting spirits. When the ancestors disappeared and became uh, disappeared, 
or or die, which was a dead person, the worship of a dead person. Uh, yes, Moses is dead, but we don't worship him. We don't try to. We don't contact him. We uh, Moses wrote the 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 tour. I mean, that's what that's what it is. When the ancestors disappeared and became Orishas, their children began to sacrifice to them and to continue whatever ceremonies the Orishas had performed when they were on the earth. This worship has passed on from generation to the next in their native, in their native areas, which is uh, West African Yoruba culture, which is where they practice human sacrifice. People formed groups that worshipped and venerated these Orishas and secured a place for their cult group in the religious and social organizations of towns where they lived. Let me continue. Community-based celebrations generally center on the worship or study of a particular Orisha to whom household members are dedicated. So out of the 400, they were dedicated to a, a one of them, or they would sacrifice to many of them. I'm, I'm going to skip down. It says, uh, in, the trans uh, yeah, in the trans state, the worshiper becomes spiritually possessed and channels the Orisha, giving the community and individuals information, perform healing, etc., Household rituals are public and open to all invited to attend. One ancestors, uh, Egon or Ogun, are, are held in high esteem in the Orisha worshippers' traditions. So it says that they become spiritually possessed, which is a, a trance, a trance-like state, which is the, the loss of consciousness, which is the stagnation of the mind. Let's keep it going. Nevertheless, there is great significance attached to the gatherings of the household of the honor of Olimare, the transcendent one, the great one, who rules and sustains the universe, which who they say is the, the Orishas are under. Worshippers also honor the Orishas or, or saintly manifestations of Olimare and their deceased ancestors. Orisha worshiping religions are religions of practice rather than belief, which is why they do rituals and divination or magic. In the wider community, these gatherings would generally occur within households of small communities, uh, practitioners and visitors. So that they worship the Orishas, which are nothing but uh, deified. Let's go back. N nothing but uh, deified ancestors. Who, who are dead, who, who, who they conjure. Deuteronomy 4. I'm, I'm going to get to the important parts. Let you become corrupt and corrupt and make for yourself the graven image the representation of any form the likeness of male or female the likeness of any beast that is on the earth the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the heaven the likeness of anything that crawls on the ground the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth unless you lift your eyes up your eyes to heaven and see the sun the moon the stars and all the hosts of heaven which your howard your god assigned to all the peoples under the entire heaven and be drawn away to prostrate yourself to them and worship them which as I stated before, uh, oh, the worship of nature is prohibited in the Torah. Time. Thank you, Jay. Uh, thank you so much. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you good. Thank you, Devion, for that powerful, powerful round. Thank you to both the debaters. Now we're going into the last round, the third round. Ten minutes each. I'll go straight in. When you're ready, whatever you need to share, Genesis, I'm sharing it for you. Uh, let me know when you want me to start. I'll be back in 14 minutes. You're muted. So, uh, so this is a 14 minute round or? or, or oh, I'm sorry. Minutes? You're right. I'll be back in nine minutes. Um, Real quick. Uh -huh. Please. Uh, thank you to the mods. We appreciate everything you do. You know what you're doing. Just please let the people live. If they're not being disrespectful, uh, let them have their opinions. You know, this is the toughest environment. Uh, peace to Elder Yara, everybody. I see you in the chat. Just everybody has their own opinion. Just as long as you do not disrespect Devion or Genesis. That's all we ask or the platform. So, yes, thank you for reminding me. My bad. My bad. Nine minutes. You get 10 minutes. I'll be back in nine to let you know you have a minute left. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Your time starts now. All right, so the Torah emphasizes monotheism, declaring witness with God in the sh in the Shema, Hero Israel, Lord our God, Lord is one, right? Now, worshiping multi multiple deities such as Orisha is considered adultery. However, Orishas are not considered gods. Now, I just broke down to you the whole body system and what the Orisha really mean and what they really represent. And if you actually play the sonic frequency of that Orisha, 
because sound equals frequency equals vibration and you break it down into a string theory aspect of things, then you can in fact get possessed. If you go to a club and they play the right sound, your body is going to what? Move. Some people might, even if they actually take in certain substances, might even get violent, might become more sexual, might become more uh, energetic, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or just even off of just, uh, I mean, just a natural high alone, just the body. Now, in Ifa, because they, they our ancestors, and I give reverence to my ancestors, understood sound frequency. The universe itself has a sound. The earth has a sound. Everything in the universe, your body is vibrating. There's a sound to your body in this vibration. And do you and, and when you can manipulate that with sound, which is what those ceremonies that you're speaking of do, is that there are drums that are involved. People are not just becoming possessed just because we walk into a room with it and have a there's a whole uh, situation of chanting and things going on in that ceremony that lead to the actual uh possession that happens similar to when you go to a christian church and they have the organist playing and they have the drums playing and they have the choir singing and it brings up a certain vibration and energy that people begin to to purge out their sadnesses certain uh the the, the, the musicians understand certain frequencies and how to make people cry how to make people laugh they know how to bring the emotions down and then up and to bring you so you might feel sad just so you could get you ever notice that you feel uh sometimes better after you hear go and hear a, a, a church and listen to the music and how they get your emotions going get you to kind of purge out those things that are bothering you and then finally you feel that release and then now you're dancing having you know and you're listening to the music and now you feel good that's what music does and that's all those ceremonies when you talk about possession are doing they are util utilizing sonic frequencies to uh, to uh to actually permeate the body and heal you from within in some cases, some people are very in touch with their Arisha. They might begin to prophesy to other each other. They might begin to to give each other advice. Okay, they might get a message. You know what I'm saying? And the, and and let me tell you something. Uh, prophesying and messaging um, does not is not witchcraft. It's not uh, getting message from demons. There's plenty of prophesizers that are in throughout the Torah and the Bible, and all religions have its prophets. So for a person to like say that. Oh, oh no, th this is witchcraft and what you guys are doing, talking to the ancestors and, and y'all are worshiping the ancestors. Well, no, we, when those ceremonies that are happening, uh, are going on, we're, that's, there's an entire, uh, 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 thing that's going on where you're breaking down into sound, sound frequencies through the drums, through the songs, they're singing in certain frequencies and it's bringing up a certain energy making it vibrate a certain way to bring about these things to happen. And if you understood sound vibration and frequency is if you understand like, okay, when we break it down, is this more uh, valuable for society? Let me tell you why it's more practical to understand these things. It's because if you don't understand these things, then all this stuff is foreign to you and you don't even know how you're being, that people can manipulate you through sound. If you don't even understand sound frequency, now us, us and Ifa understand these things. <laughs> if I understand these things, we understand the scientific breakdown of sound. We understand the breakdown of herbs. We understand the connection to our Risha, to our bodies. We understand how, how Odoo connects to our bodies. We understand because we are one with nature and one with everything within the universe as, it's, as, it, uh, as it exists. We understand vibration. We understand how to, how, to, how to send out vibration. We understand how to block vibration. People could be sending out negativity your way. You don't even know how to block it. Why? Because you're so busy thinking it's witchcraft to be able to protect yourself. <laughs> you, know, you don't you think we, we understand the scientific aspect of string theory. All this is, is mathematics and science, but people want to make it into spookism. And turn it into something evil that are, and we, we don't want to go back into our ancient ancestors and what they know. We want to turn our backs to it and we want to deny it and say, oh, this is all witchcraft. It's all evil. And, and we don't even understand how we, we could be empowered through it. We, 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 we don't understand how our own power lies in understanding that, th that these systems that, you know what, our enemies are using the systems against us. And that's why we're sitting up here powerless. You want to just read a, read one book and be in a box and not understand a, how sound frequency works when they're using it to, to manipulate the weather? Harp? And you're wondering why you're in a hurricane? 
look in your Torah and tell me uh, how 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 that harp machine is changing up the weather. But I can tell you from Ifa how it is because they're using certain sound frequencies and they're b bouncing it off the uh, stratosphere. Why? Because Odu Ifa already has a a, a, a pataki and it already has an Odu that explains these things. Why? But but if we only are thinking of, uh, in the, in the standpoint of oh no that is witchcraft or that's evil whatever oh you worshiping the ancestors well honey they, my ancestors are me and I am my ancestors so I'm worshiping myself essentially by giving reverence to my ancestors I'm giving reverence to myself if I give a reference by giving reverence to the orisha which embody my entire body I'm giving reverence to myself. It's not outside of me. The macrocosm affects the, the microcosm. Everything outside affects the inside. I'm not separate from that. But when you think that there's a separation, you find evil things and you find the, the, the negative and the evil within it. When you talk about divination, you talk about that, okay, well, we don't, I don't need a Bible out to tell me this and this. Okay, well, how do you heal yourself? How do you do that in the Torah? How do I how do I look into the Torah and if I have the flu, how does it how do I how do I know what to do if I got the flu? Show me what what uh biblical verse you said you said that the, the Torah has herbs and stuff like that. Okay, well what herb combination and show me within what verse that if you have the flu, uh uh these are the herbs and this is the these are the herbs you should take because that's what's in Ifa. In Ifa, when you actually go to a practitioner, it could tell you, hey, you got this, whatever, all right, based on that. This is what you should take. That exists in Ifa. Ifa is a holistic system. It's not just about uh, 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 laws and rules about what you should not do and shouldn't do. It's about what you, all right, uh, you as an individual, what, you're, what you need to, to look out for. And that those things can change on a regular basis. And so that's why you get readings. You get you go you get divination on a regular basis. If you just have one set of laws and that thing is supposed to carry from BCE X amount of time, and it's supposed to carry the whole entire nation of of uh, Israelites, but then you have individual problems that are coming up today as time goes on. How do you deal with that? What if an alien ship comes flying into this? Well, it could be in. We, could, uh, we have different uh, sicknesses coming out, illnesses coming out. How do we deal with that? Ifa provides a way. Ifa provides inspiration. It, it when it, when you deal with the individual, then you can you 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 you, you can't deal with everybody. You have to deal with each individual person because each individual person has different circumstances. You're telling me, oh, the the, uh, the Torah has a, uh, it, it explains. No, it does not explain how I get um, uh, get over if I have a, a, a bipolar disorder. How, how what is the where do I go in the Torah that explains what herbs I could take to heal bipolar disorder? They have that in Ifa. How are uh, how are uh, the herbs that you that you actually uh, you spoke of? Let's break down. Okay, so are are those the only herbs that you take in the, if you are a Torah believer? There's like thousands of herbs upon this earth, and you mean to tell me those are the only herbs that you guys have in your belief system? I I, I think where you would be doomed as a society to only have that the only example. Well, you need to really, really like think about how how uh, how uh, when we get into the tour, you're so focused on the negative aspects of the health of the uh, of the witchcraft aspect of it. Maybe you need a little so-called witchcraft in your life so you can heal yourself, because all those er herbs are healing. They can either heal you, or if you take it the wrong way, it can either destroy you. And if you don't know the difference, then that's where you uh, can run into a problem as a society. All right, is that my time? Oh uh, yeah, thank you. You're at nine forty, but you have twenty seconds left. You're good. Yep. Okay, thank you so much for that, Genesis. Going now straight into the brother Devion's final round. You have ten minutes. I will come back when you have one minute left. Uh, let me know when you want to start your time. Are you uh, sure? Please hit the like. Uh, I see you out there, my sister Jim and I, uh, and everybody else. I see you. Okay, Debian, your screen is shared. Tell me when you're ready. I'll start your time. Uh, 
for sure. All right, we're good. Okay, time starts now. All right, uh, the, the sister made a whole bunch of claims. She's talking about herbs, aliens, uh, and a whole bunch of uh, other stuff that has uh, nothing to do with the debate. Um, she still hasn't shown how it's more practical in society or uh, establishing a government for uh, quote unquote uh, black Americans, right? And, and I'm just wondering, like, what, 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 where in your sacred text can I find these things? And she also used verses of the Torah, so I guess, uh, I guess, uh, you know, I, I guess she close, she slowly want to become a Torah knight. Uh, and also, people with mental illness can still be diagnosed without a babalao. People can still be diagnosed with bi bipolar and, and schizophrenia. So I don't know what, I don't know. Back, but back to the presentation. The prohibition of ancestor worship. According to Ifo oral tradition, communication with their ancestors is a birthright and requires no special sanction. At times, this communication. At times, this communication can simply involve remembering a revered ancestor and making use of the memory as a basis for making an important decision. In many ways, ancestor communication is an extensive a extension of the training and wisdom we receive from our parents and grandparents and in Yoruba culture. It is common for the uninitiated to make uh, direct contact with the ancestor. That's why you have to go. That's why she says you have to go through a babalao, which will be a, a priest, which who does the the uh, spells and whatever, right? And as I stated before, we we'll go back. The ancestors were deified as or orishas and aspects of nature. Ancestor worship is against the Torah. Leviticus 19, verse 31. You shall not turn to the sorcery of Aweb or Yada Anay, uh, Yada Anay, uh, Yada Anayam, and shall not seek these and thereby defile yourselves through them. I am Yahweh your God. Let's see what, uh, e uh, Eboth is. Let it load up here. If it loads up, Ewab, a necromancer. A medium, mediums, a spirit, a necromancer, woman that hath a familiar spirit, or is that of a wizard? Yeah, uh, uh, forbidden in the Torah. Let's see what uh, uh, Yada Anayam is. Remember, it said necromancer. So when she brings up Saul, he went to a necromancer, a familiar spirit. Spiritus, uh, a familiar spirit, which is nothing but ancestor worship. A knowing one, specifically a conjurer, a ghost, a wizard. So I, I guess uh, they they are here getting possessed by ghosts and uh, uh, demons. Let's keep it moving. No more witchcraft. Exodus twenty two verse seventeen. You shall not allow a sorceress or Kashaf to live. Leviticus 20, verse 27. And a man or a woman who has the sorcery of Ewab, which is a, a witchcraft, or a Yadane, a Yadane, which is also a necromancer or a familiar spirit or a wizard, shall be shall surely be put to death. They shall pelt them with stones and their blood is upon themselves. The definition of trance. Wait, I missed one? No. A temporary mental condition condition in, in which someone is not completely conscious and or not in control of himself or herself, right? Uh, a hypnotic state resembling sleep, which is the definition of trance. Any mental state in which a person is unaware and apparently unaware of the environment, characterized by loss of voluntary movement, rigidity, and lack of sensitivity to external stimuli, which hinders the The, the functions of the mind, planning, problem solving, motivation, analyzing, recognizing, a touch, pain, uh, temperature, vibration, visual sensory. Let's go back. Let me find my spot. Let's go back. A state in which a medium or a wizard having temporary lost consciousness can supposedly be controlled by an intelligence from without as means of, commu of communication with the dead. A, a medium, as I just showed, is, is a witch, or a sorcerer, a conjurer, 
Being in a state of hypnosis or unconscious is adversarial to a strong and, and productive mind. The Torah also, the, the Torah aids mental fortitude, intellect, purpose of man to make him a master of the mind or the spirit. We continue. This is uh this is a text of uh Ipa. She said the holy Odu. Well, well, I guess this is your teacher. Uh, the author of this book is Awo Fetgebi Funtum Funtumbi Fatsola. I guess I I well, I, I guess I guess uh he's a a, a Yoruba too. Development of society. Throughout the Torah, there are many aspects dated to maintaining a wise nation, the governing of oneself, producing a better moral code and intelligent society for our people, along with equal weights and judgments in all affairs. Not to rely on another another's culture, but stick to our, stick to your own. Governing the people. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. And you shall keep them and do them, so for, for that is your wisdom and your understanding in the eyes of the peoples or the nations. Who, who will hear all these statutes and say, only this great nation is wise and understanding people? Through the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are charges for all of Israel to maintain a strong foundation and proper moral code. The Torah is the heritage of the congregation of Jacob, which is our heritage, which is not a religion. It's, it's our heritage. How to conduct ourselves in society. Deuteronomy 33. The Torah that Moses commanded us is the legacy for the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in, in Yeshawan, which is another word for uh, uh, Israel, which means upright, uh, Yeshar. Whenever the sum total of the people were gathered in the tribes of Israel together, or, or in unified. Under what? The Torah and the Ten Commandments. Helping the poor in civil interaction. There are many decrees and ordinances stated to provide honest dealings and proper judgment with others among society. Gifts to the poor. We, we, we are to, when we reap our, our harvest, we are to leave some for the poor. And, and for the stranger who is among our gates. The killing of another. One who strikes a man so that he dies shall surely be put to death. But one who did not stalk him, but God brought it about in his hand, I will make a place for you to which he shall flee, which are called refuge cities. So if a man was to, was to kill one man, um, not deliberately, he would have had a chance to, fly, to flee to that city. But if a man plots deliberately against his friend to slay him with cunning, even from my altar shall take him, shall you take him to die. Work and wages. If someone's working for you, you shall not oppress your fellow. You shall not rob. The higher worker's wage shall not remain with you overnight until morning. So even workers getting paid, we had a statute for that. Men are towards other nations. When a, sojourner, when a stranger sojourns in your land, you shall not taunt him. The stranger who sojourns with you shall be as a native. From among you, and you shall love him as yourself, as you were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God. You shall not mistreat a stranger. Where in Ephah can I find anything about how to conduct yourself in society? Equal weights and measures, or proper judgment. Leviticus 19, verse 15. You shall commit no injustice in judgment. You shall not favor the poor or respect the great man. You shall judge your fellow with righteousness, which means you, you shall have equal weights and balances of, and of judgment. Prohibits immorality. Leviticus 19, verse 29, you shall not defile your daughter by making her a harlot, lest the land fall into harlotry and the land be filled with immorality. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17, there shall not be a prostitute of the daughters of Israel, and there shall be and there shall not be a male prostitute of the sons of Israel, and you shall not be promiscuous. This is what the, the Torah prohibits. For forbidden relationships, whether it would be uh, relationships of incest, which cause birth defects. And practices uh, that, that reverse the natural uh, way of life or law, which is what's needed to grow a nation. So, like moho bestiality, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mating with incest, pretty much. This is all prohibited in the Torah to have a better moral code and how to conduct yourself. Even today's judicial system is based heavily off the Bible or the, the Torah. American law in colonial days and continues to influence the judicial system today. Right now, oh, oh, the judicial system is not fair. But if you commit a crime, you go to jail. Pretty much. Or there's repercussions. And uh, Nat, Turner, Nat Turner in the Bible, who used the Bible to fight back against oppression. 
But uh, with that, I'll yield my time there. Okay, great. All right, per perfect. Now we're going to move into right in, into the uh, question and answer round. Basically, uh, we will do five minutes for each debater. S we will start with Genesis. Genesis, you have five minutes to ask him as many questions as you like. He has one minute to answer the question. Um, I'm not going to do that one thing, which that's up to other debaters and other moderators where you can the person has to stop when you say stop. They have a full minute to answer uh, regardless if you like what they're saying or not. So uh, your time starts now. You have five minutes to ask him, just question him about whatever you wanna challenge. And um, once your five minutes is up, then we'll move to him and he'll do the same for you. I any questions? You're muted. So am I supposed to be asking him questions or am I supposed to be addressing certain stuff that I have questions about? Why do you know? Exactly. Well, logically, you're going to try to take a tear apart his 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 uh, position and what he presented. Okay. So you're going to ask him questions about it. He has a minute to answer. So that's where the timing is. So really, when I say five minutes, uh, yeah, we'll still do five minutes. So it's just a block of time for five minutes for both of you to do this on your on your from your end, from you being the you know the uh, um, the protagonist, the the asker of questions. So start when you want. I'll start the timer and I'll end do it. Do I show minutes. Do I show my screen and stuff? Or? If you want to, uh, keep in mind that you're using your five minutes, and I'm not going to be able to pause it for the time for you. Okay. Um, if it really is crucial to use your screen, go ahead, but really just ask him, start questioning him, you know, dig in where you can address him and put him, put his feet to the fire. Same with you, Devion, you know this though. Okay. So whatever you want to do, let me know when your time starts and I'll start okay. the time. I, I, I start, start the screen. Okay. Now, are you ready to start yes. your time? I'm starting your time now. So a lot of the times that he's saying this whole time he's saying you know the Torah, uh, I don't understand how she why she keeps saying that the Torah have similarities. Okay, yeah, Ifa understands good character. Why is it that you believe that there is no other culture outside of like the uh, Hebrew Israelites that has a culture that understands the balance or good character? Why do you think that the that that everything in existence uh, that have ever existence except for the Torah uh, as an understanding does not have any kind of foundational um, understanding of that within it when societies have exist existed way before the Torah have ever existed. Okay, go ahead. You have five minutes. I'm um, one minute to answer that. Go ahead, De Devion. Well, he, oh, Devion? Can't hear you. oh, you're muted. You're muted, Devion. No, I was saying, um, are you asking me if uh, other religions have an idea of a uh, balanced character pretty much? Well, basically you're making it seem like that the this uh, that the Ifa um, does not have any concept of a balanced character any of anything. It's just witchcraft, it's evil. I'm trying to understand why do you feel that all these other beliefs, uh, Hinduism, you said you, you said I tried to compare it to Hinduism and this, that, the other, and like all these things are just bad, bad, bad. But the Torah, we're about the mind and we're about this. I'm trying to understand why is it that you feel like the Torah is the only civil thing, the, 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 this book is the only thing that has that within it. Okay, De Devion, you have a minute to answer that. You are at two minutes, to, uh, Genesis. So go ahead, Devion. Um, uh, because it says the Torah is the heritage of the congregation of Jacob. So that's how we build. You know, that's how we build up as a uh, quote unquote Black Americans. That's how we build up our nation. They, they, other nations already have their religion, or or whatever. Why do we have to go to someone else's uh culture to understand our own? That I, that I don't I don't understand it. But you, you I mean it you it's similar to Hinduism. They're based off the aspects of nature and carnality. Which okay, is the, what the Torah prohibits. Okay, that's your minute. All right, go ahead. Um 
Genesis, I'm going to now you, you have your two minutes. I'm starting your time again. Ask your question. Your second question. You're muted. In my presentation, I explained, uh, you know, how how the actual uh, human body uh, is is understood within uh, IFA. Um, because when we're talking about what's more practical for society, how, where, how does the Torah heal it? How do you heal yourself using the Torah? Okay, your time is paused. Devion, you have a minute to answer starting now. Uh, healing yourself in, in the Torah represents your mind. So it's the it's the building up of the mind, not of uh, body parts or, or uh, health. But if you want to uh, with the mind, you can also uh, be in better, uh, better health. As far as you said, uh, mental illness, right? If someone is depressed, the the tour is is a a gateway in order to build in order to build the character of oneself who is lacking. It's it's that the tour is uh, a a a book of psychology and. Basically, how to, you know, how to improve the one who is lacking of ideas and progressive thought to remove so, the, the uh, statue. So, if a, a person had gangrene this in their leg, third question, go ahead. I'm a sorry. person had gangrene in their leg. How do they? If I had gangrene in my leg, how would I use the Torah to heal myself? Okay, Devion, your your time starts now. Uh, you would, you would, I, I don't know. The tour doesn't state uh, gangrene. Or say my, may, say my leg was about to fall off. How do I use a Torah to uh, fix that? Uh, the, the, the Torah doesn't state uh, if your leg gonna fall off. Say, uh, say I'm about to have a heart attack. Does the Torah uh, uh, alert me of whether or not I might need to do something with my heart or whatever? How do I? How do I diagnose myself using the Torah of any illness? Um, you don't you don't use the Torah to diagnose ailments. So how does the community diagnose itself if they're only reading from the Torah? Uh, because one knows when his legs about to fall off. So how do they fix the problem using the Torah? I'm sorry. How do they fix it using the Torah? Uh, the Torah doesn't state how to fix a leg. So what, is, what, is, what do people do if, if the society needs a help in a medical format and they're only using the Torah? How do they survive when the Torah does not have anything uh, within it that deals with health and how to maintain one's health and how to heal uh, itself? Well, it does have uh, maintaining one's health as far as uh, what you what you can eat and what you shouldn't eat. And also based off the Levitical priesthood. Once you have a, a ailment or a disease, you are to go to the, the Levites. Okay, then, so the Levites, all right, is that in the Torah? Do they use the Torah to, to heal you, or what do they do? Oh, uh, what do you mean? They, they would come and look at it, and if you were something that was contaminated, they would put you in contamination or away from the rest of the camp. So they wouldn't give you herbs or anything like that to heal you? Or that was based in the Torah, those curcumin, those specific herbs that you uh, pointed out from the Torah? How, how does that community that only is going off of the Torah alone able to survive when a person is having a physical ailment? Say it's the plague. What do they do? They just throw them in a, in a, in a, a pit somewhere? Like, what do they do? Uh, no. You, when you, when you go to the the Levite, if the affliction is clearing up, then you're unclean for seven days. But it depends on it depends on the affliction. Okay. So what, what, what questions? Say it again. Well, wait. You have thirty more seconds to answer the rest of that if you want. Okay. Debbie on. No, that, that, that was. You had three minutes and 38 seconds, and then when she gets to five, we're going to flip it over. Well, I, was, I was trying to clarify the question. I really, asked, I really asked three questions, but I was really trying to clarify it throughout the thing. about the house. Yeah, you have about a minute and a half left of your time, but I'm just letting Debian know he had 30 more seconds to finish answering that if you wanted to. But you have a minute and 30 seconds left 
to ask more questions. When he when he's talking, your time is paused. Your five minutes. So, would you like to ask another question? Are you finished answering okay. that? You have thirty seconds left, Debian. Do you want to move on? Would you like to to expound upon that? Is he okay. So 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 the Levites. Who were the Levites, and would they be considered similar to a priest of like the like a ephah priest? Uh, no, they would not be considered similar to a ephah priest because they didn't because they didn't practice divination. So the Levite priests did not have their own form of divination. No. So and what about the or what about the umum and the thumum in the um and also the casting of lots that happened in the in the Torah by the Levites? Uh, the awarayam and the thamayam means to give off light and perfect which is what the, the priest is supposed to be the, the high priest only the high priest wore it and the casting of lots was to to determine something not contact the ancestors in order to figure out an outcome sure. you keep talking about okay i'm, I'm gonna let, let him finish his time if he wants to you have about 40 more seconds are you done right. devion no well, the 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 levite well, actually, the only only the high priest wore the the Arari Yom and the Thama Yom in the pockets, and he represented himself as well as all of Israel to atone for their sins. So, I mean, I I don't know what the, the, that was his role, which in the Thama Yom just means uh, perfection or like without blemish and to give off light, which is enlightenment. Okay, go ahead. You're next, you you have one more minute. Go ahead, uh, Genesis. You keep talking about uh, the ancestors. Uh, so, do you guys? Uh, I mean, do you guys give any respect to the uh, people that have passed away? So, what happens when your loved ones pass away? You just completely forget them, like they ever existed. You have a minute uh, no. to answer that. Uh, uh, no, uh, my, my mother uh, passed away two years ago, and I know she's my mother, but I don't worship her or look look to uh, contact her or any way. So say it's her birthday. Do you, like, remember her birthday? I mean, yeah, this is the day my mama was born. I mean, what? Okay. So is that considered worshiping her by remembering her for that day that she was born? Uh, no, but in Ifa, ancestors are deified, which means a god. That's a very huge misunderstanding, but okay. I just okay. You I have just 30 asked. seconds. You have 30 seconds, Genesis. You want to ask one last question? Um, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You okay? I'm trying to no, I'm trying to think of where what angle I want to come from. Okay, um, well we can't hold the time for you, but you're doing okay. great, both of you. So just 30 seconds. All right. So uh so when you talk about uh possession, do you guys understand uh, anything about musical resonance in the Torah? Is there any room to understand uh vibration in the Torah? And you have a full minute to answer that, brother, and then we move on to you. Go ahead. Uh, uh, no, but people did play instruments as far as like the sons of Asaph, and uh, there were many instrument instruments uh, that were played uh, throughout the tour. Yeah. You know, okay. You know, okay. Music has frequency, so uh, your brain has frequencies. All right, so let's go straight. Flip it over, and now. Great job, both of you. You guys, some people, I don't know if you were confused. Not the, I don't think the, the, the debaters were confused. I think that went well. So let's do that for you now, uh, Devion. Essentially, you have five minutes to ask as many questions as you can. Genesis, uh, you will have a minute to answer. I would like for you to clarify, but De Devion, I wasn't really sure. So I kind of maybe interrupted you. Let me know if you're not going to use your full minute. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, say I'm done or, uh, you know, that's all or something like that. Also, I, I like the back and forth. It was really organic. Keep that going. But keep in mind that the other person has an, a full minute to answer. Okay. So when you're ready, Devion, I will start your five minutes. And of course, I'll pause it when she's answering. She'll get her minute. Let me know when you're ready to start. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I can go. Yes, sir. Uh, throughout your presentation, I didn't see any sources. So I would like to see um, a source of the sacred uh, Odu text of Ifa that uh, states anything that you brought out. Um, so the Odu of Ifa is an oral tradition. However, uh, if you actually go uh, to, let me see, I think at the end of my presentation, I did have sources at the end, so I didn't really uh, use them within. <clears throat> the actual uh, document. Hold on one second. So uh, some of my sources come from uh, the uh, Encyclopedia Brit Britannica, PlanetHerbs.com, which where I that's where I got all the research from, like the body and um, and Ifa. Some of the the data came from Wikipedia, uh, Britannica you know, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica and um, places like that. So those are some of the sources that where I got stuff. And then if I actually go into this document right here, um, most of the things that I um, had no, in time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Devion. Oh, oh, okay. So, so no sacred uh, Ifa text. All right, got it. Um, no, my, Ifa my is a, is a, is a, a oral tradition. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, go ahead, Devion, still doing his time. I, no, I, I got you, but uh, they still say there's uh, 256 uh, verses of poems that uh, they would recite. So I don't know. It, uh, that, that's what they call the sacred Ifa text, the Odu. Well, let, let's uh, continue on. Uh, does other nations uh, worship nature? Yes. So, you want the, the so, so therefore, uh, Ifa is nothing but animism. I don't, I don't, I don't exactly know what uh, animism is, but um, I don't believe that uh, Ifa is just uh, animism. It is an entire so societal uh, s structure. So when you're only talking about the uh, the aspect of nature and worshiping nature, uh, you're you're really limiting the uh, the understanding of Ifa to just um, bare bare bones uh, understanding. You know, uh, there's an entire uh, structure and spiritual uh, community, environmental, all types of structure. If you actually look here, there's a spiritual community, mental health, physical health, environmental, and all those are tools for personal development. If you if you only want to break it down into only just nature worship, uh, I think that you would be missing a lot. It's a holistic approach to life. Uh, well, all the Orishas were examples of nature, which is also practiced in Buddhism, Taoism, Shintoism, and uh, many other major religions all over the world. So it makes it no different from those other religions. As she stated at the Correct. beginning, at, Correct. As, Correct. No, just let him go. Just answer the questions, Genesis. I'm sorry. As, as, she, as she stated at the beginning of her presentation. You're at a minute 30 seconds, Jevion, to ask. You have more questions? Yeah, I got more. Okay. Uh, did, Ifa, did Ifa give birth to Voodoo and Santeria? Okay, you have a minute to answer. Go ahead, Genesis. Ifa gave birth to various religions and, and actually have the Odu to back up those the religions that it gave birth to, including the Torah, if we actually do the research. However, like if you don't understand the Odu of Ifa, you wouldn't know that because the, the actual Babalao priests are the ones that see Odu that are able to interpret this, the, uh, the, the, the scriptures. Um, there are places where you can actually read the Odu and break down, but, the, um, but, the, but the, we, we don't let just anybody read our script, our text. Only, only priests can interpret the text. So therefore, it's like, you know, uh, it's, it, yeah, so basically the Odu itself um is a oral tradition that is uh that takes years and years to learn and it has almost over 400,000 uh 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 verses uh 
not just 256. 256 are the major and minor Odu. That you, that's the divination aspect of it that allow you to break down into actually uh, what verse is relevant to the to the person. Time. Okay, go ahead, Debbie. On back to your questioning. Um, can you can people? Can people still be diagnosed with mental illness without going to a Bible law? Yeah, yes, uh, yes, of course they can. However, in society back in those days, right, uh, we did not have uh, hospitals. We did not have uh, 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 mental health facilities. We had the Bible law and the Olorisha. We had the priests. So the Bible law and the Yanifa and the Olorisha are the priests of the society before doctors and, and, and hospitals and and other methods of diagnosis ever existed. These were the diagnosticians of society. Okay, you have 30 more seconds. You wanna, you're good? Um, yes, uh, also, um, and, and when you get into, uh, when when you get into what is more practical for society, a lot of times we have, we have uh, lost by uh, Western medicine and by getting back to our natural way of doing things, we will find that using herbs and things like that and our natural methods that we always use would be way more healthier than using something uh, that will only uh, put a Band-Aid on the problem and not fix the actual issue. And that is what Ifa is about. Okay, time, good. Go ahead, Debbie, on your, your time. Just right, resume. Cool. This, this, this is gonna be my uh, last question. Uh, as I you stated- Debbie on, Debbie on, you sorry. have like three, you have three more minutes. Okay, okay, okay. In, uh, in my presentation, uh, as everybody clearly saw, that uh, the Yoruba culture practiced uh, human sacrifice. Um, do you have anything? Uh, do, do you have anything to, to say about the human sacrifice that was practiced in the Yoruba culture in early Ifa? Okay, okay in early in yeah. early Ifa, just like also when um, Abraham, I think it was uh, who was it? Isaac was about to to to, to uh, sacrifice his son and God gave him the option of like uh, sacrificing a ram instead. A similar situation like that happened in Odu Ifa where at the time Olokun people would bring their children to the um, to Olokun which is actually like uh, the, the ocean and would actually sacrifice their children and then what happened is, is that at some point people felt like that was uh, you know I guess uh, there's a story of, of, of Pataki about how <laughs> They decided that uh, Olokun eventually, Olodumare decided against the same way how God decided against Isaac sacrificing um, his child um, and his son, right? And so, uh, just the same kind of a story. Instead of Olo, when when uh, they were going to people were sacrificing the children to Olokun uh, in the older times, then uh, God decided to ban that practice and also offer a ram instead. So there was a similar story. Time. Okay. Okay, Debian, you have you have about three more minutes still. Yeah, you well you're at two thirteen. So you can ask more questions, brother. Um uh, uh, first, first of all, uh Abraham uh didn't sacrifice Isaac because God told him to unhand that boy. So Right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Right. Hold on, let me ask my question. If uh in Yoruba culture Early Yoruba culture, which is what Ifa is based off of, where they practice human sacrifice, is that beneficial for society? Go ahead, Jim. Uh, no, it's not. It's not beneficial to society. That's not. That is why it is forbidden. And like I said, the um, if you actually there's are actually Odu that actually forbid human sacrifice. Are you done with that? You have more time. And actually, I could hold. On, I was going to find the Odu that for, forbids uh, human sacrifice, but I. Don't know if I can find it uh, that quickly, but uh, hold on, let me see if I can find it. The Odu. You have 30 seconds. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, it's uh, Odu Oyeku Meiji. Uh, it warns that offering human sacrifice is not acceptable to the Orisha, the deities or divine spirits in Yoruba belief. Uh, that, so yes, yeah, Oyeku Meiji. And if you look it up online, Odu Oyaku Meiji will discuss, you'll be, you'll be able to find that it's not acceptable for human sacrifice. Thank you. Okay, Devion. Uh, it, it, 
and don't change. They they still sacrifice for the blood, which is what they sacrifice to humans for. And they still sacrifice for blood. Okay, hey, I can hear what you're saying. And, sorry. Uh, no, I, I said I said they, I said they still sacrifice for uh, blood today. So, oh, uh, uh, I just can't forget my question. Oh, uh, oh. you have two minutes. In in the tour. In the tour, uh, ancestor worship is uh, completely forbidden, right? I know you keep talking about ancestor worship. In the tour, ancestor ancestor worship is completely uh, forbidden. Is a would you consider a babalao a sorcerer? Go ahead, Genesis. No, I would not. I would I would consider him a priest and an actual uh, practitioner of Ifa. Are you but, done? You have 53 seconds. Uh, a sorcerer would indicate, like, okay, when you actually go into calling people sorcerers, that's almost like asking, would you consider a doctor a sorcerer or a nurse a sorcerer? Like I said, these people had specific roles in society. This was a society construct, okay? You had you had a whole makeup of society where the Baba Laos and the priests and everything, this was a, it was a, they were a part of society. They were not just, um, uh, 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 witch, witches, or whatever you would call. So therefore, when you had the priest, they were they, they were the the devotees. It, it all broke down into these things. So the Baba Lao was just uh, above the the pre, the chief and the priest of the society, and they would refer to the Baba Laos to make decisions. So these were people uh, all a part of the community. This was a part of the community. Time. Okay, David. Uh, that that's uh sorcery because it's a form of a uh, divination to foretell the future right based based off of uh ritualistic uh practices of of african tradition i mean that's, that's what it is he's a, a diviner also um yeah i show this in my presentation are are the ancestors deified you have a minute to answer that. There oh. are, there are. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think he's still. Go ahead. Are, are the ancestors deified to become God? Now, are they considered Orishas? Okay, thank you. Okay. There is a there is a group of ancestors that are considered Orisha, right? And those are the ancestors that were significant in society. A goon is what we call them, and those are those are a specific type of a, a ancestor that maybe held as a high rank in society was important. And so they got the level of a goon, but just your regular ancestors are just something that you just revere and you hold on to and you respect and you give reverence to because they're just a part They're you know, they get their, your bloodline. They're a part of your bloodline and, you know, big mama passed away. So we don't just uh, take big mama's picture and throw it into the trash. We make an altar and we, uh, we give reverence to her and don't forget her. We don't forget that she exists. We don't just throw her away and just pretend like, like, oh, she's gone now. So that's what we do with our ancestors. But we do have a, a thing called Ogun, Igun, like how you have Martin Luther King, everybody, and Malcolm X, people like that. That's considered an Igun. That he's, he will be considered Igun. You understand? Because he is a special ancestor because he made an impact on society. Time. Okay. And Devion, you have one minute, eight seconds to ask, uh, you know, your, your the rest of your questions starting now. Then we're gonna uh, open the it. panel. Yeah. The only other question I have, because she said uh, there is a sacred text in Ifa, and I'm just asking, what of the sacred text in Ifa would help establish a society based on the governing aspect of wages, civil interaction, and a justice system? Okay, thank you. And Genesis, you have a minute to answer that, starting now. All right, so in Ifa, the macrocosm affects the microcosm, like I said. So the actual uh, breakdown of how the justice system is broken down is, is the same way of, of how the cities are broken down. Uh, and if, uh, if you let me, I think I was sharing my screen, but it got taken down. Oh, okay, I'll put it back up. Go ahead. I like could show this picture when I was actually... Uh, you have 36 seconds. Uh, okay, so basically the, the whole of the actual systems of the, the society mimicked the spiritual court so even when you had the your your king uh king would sit in the center of the town 
the the same way the government structure sits in the middle uh, is you have your governments you have everything all okay in this format so just like you have like you have the governing body on the outside then you have the the town on the inside and in the center is the king of the of the town so you have the universe you have the the uh, earth you have the body you have the spirit then you have and it all goes down microcosm uh, thank you okay um do you have you have about 45 seconds left to ask another question if you'd like Devian. oh uh, no that's fine that's that that's all you want to relinquish okay so thank you so much for that i think that went well very well if i might may say so so, so myself now i have dropped the link for people if you'd like to come in and question the debaters i mentioned that by the way if you come in and i don't know who you are you definitely have to turn your camera on if i know you you're a regular uh just let me see who you are in the back so i'll know it's not someone posing as you and then i'll let you hit the can the the panel and you're you're not required to turn on your camera that's just how it is over here um um i'm gonna wait a couple minutes let the debaters take a take a quick break actually maybe you want to go get a drink of water uh turn on your 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 alarm i don't know but you can i'll give you a couple minutes y'all to go do that while we wait for whoever's coming to the panel to hit the panel because we do need to do their closing argument if by the time they get back i'll give you like two two minutes you know two three minutes y'all so uh, what? So what's the last thing that's gonna be done next? I'm sorry, this is my after. Okay, so I dropped the link. One, two, whoever come, people come in, they ask you, you both a question, and then they they that's it. They leave. Um, you answer the question, and then uh, I think I'm just gonna take two if if they even come in at all. I'll take two different people from the audience. They will ask each of you a question, then they will be exit, and then we will go into your final closing round, which it will be five minutes, and you just conclude, you know, do a wrap up. This is what happened. This is what I think. This is why I think this is this way. Get it? So, but for now, I'm going to let you take a quick intermission while we see if people want to hit the panel. Please take about two minutes. Go get a drink of water. Take a potty break, whatever. And um, I'm gonna play some music, waiting for the people to hit the panel. You get it, or no? Okay. All right, I got it. All right, so please be back in two minutes. You can turn your cameras off until you get back. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you, Devion. All right, so please hit the link. If, like I said, if you don't hit the link in the next two minutes, it's no problem. You know how it is. We, I'm sure they want to get on with their evening. This was a great debate. I loved it. But um, yeah, let's listen to, I wanna hear KOT. What do y'all think, audience? Uh, where is it at? Here it is. Still up in the H.O. Can you get poor form? Go visit my young man. We pulling up on them. Quentin, they were trying to get your mind ready. Trying to see your soul if they only win it. We do this for the babies. Can't forget about no All of my people just know I got love for them. They say they want fuck, but they ain't ready. Find me in the studio. That's my name. Still up in the H.O. Can you get poor form? Go visit my young man. We pulling up on them. Quentin, they were trying to get your mind ready. Trying to see your soul if they only win it. We do this for the babies. Can't forget about no All of my people just know I got I love for They say they want fuck, but they ain't ready. Find me in the studio. That's right, man. Hey, keep by the system, better watch what you say to them. I do it for the shit. I know I gotta make a way for them. Carry them on my back like I take the gym. Never turn my back, you know I gotta lead the way for them. Ain't your case, bring your conscience to the people. Holler freedom. Bro, we give a knowledge, I'll be free on. Who for this old as I'll be free on? It's about to go down in the big Coliseum. They talk by smoke, they just blow. They don't want to when you see them. We better all day from the head to the field. When the tough fits are by me, we take them to the deep. Slum with the knowledge they've been seeking Do you need a hand, they've been reaching Really got my back when I need it They walking dick, they've been sleeping Higher than the mountain, I'm peaking Hold up in the cold now with all this decent Who for the people, it's the spirit they be seeking Kind of city, baby, front of leeches Been in your pain, but we speaking Trap with that word, got that armor of yeah, But it's the spirit we breathing Nine head up with the other channels on the nine Like it's just a set of meaning I'm in a yacht, no dick, and I beat them Tell them all, fam, it's the best is how we greet them Still 
up in the intro, paying you for a form to feel the fire. Man, we pulling up on the one thing that we're trying to get your mind ready. Trying to take your soul if you only want that. We do this for the baby. Can't forgive up on no All of my people just know I got love for. Food. They say they want more, but they ready. Find me in the studio. That's my name. Up in the H.O. Can you get raw form to feel the fire? Man, we pulling up on them one day. They were trying to get your mind ready. Trying to see your soul if you only want that. We do this for the baby. All of my people just know I got love for They say they won't smoke but they ring If I be in the studio, that's my name Go swerve in my lane, you might crash out Pull on my friends, you might cash out Just step in the H.O.K. We keep it jumping the head away We put the fake in the head and the head is way If we gon' save them, then we gotta make a way On us a fade away I got that light and so bright I can make a day tough It's environment, they holla H.O.K. Go buy your car, that's H.O.K. The baby color sim, no they don't play Got balls all heads on two, show free up We can get the lead that two the way The mama keep them clothes on over two or four My little brother put them feelings too many Getting taught, never trade your soul for a crack Got them devils in the cup, but I'm ready On my back to heaven, uh-huh Keep pushing, we will never stop Keep running out the numbers, everyone to try Wins blow, we just make it pop When we touch down, you gon' hear it drop Jump in the fire, man All right, peace cube. Yo, yo, peace, peace. What's going on, y'all? How'd you like the debate? Devion's man. back with Genesis. How'd you like the debate? Was it good? Man, I gotta tell you, man, it was a pretty good debate, man. I wasn't um, expecting much, uh, considering um, the topic, but um, both both debaters did pretty well i have to be honest but um I'd, I'd most certainly have a question uh for the brother but, uh, uh, both both hold on one second okay so so cube i don't know if you heard me say earlier definitely i'm glad you hit the panel i appreciate your participation can you ask a question to each debater and then once they answer just you know try not don't please don't go back and forth with them just you know exit but you can ask each one of them a question so yeah, I was I was just about to ask him a question. I go, just, no, definitely. Guys, I'm just clarifying for everybody, not just you, because people who just got in here, ask your questions, and then you can just get get the answer and go. Go ahead, Cube. Oh, okay, cool. Appreciate that. So, uh, Dayon, since um, you know, the the title was about practicality, and I really didn't see any practicality in what you were talking about. So my question is. What you were explaining throughout your presentation was everything in the Bible goes back to the mind. Everything goes back to the mind. It's psychology. So if if everything goes back to the mind, how is that practical for people today? If everything is just psychology, there, there's no medical, there, there's no economy. If everything goes back to the mind, how is it actually practical? Uh, because the mind is a force, right? Mind is also a spirit. So it's a force. You can apply it to different aspects and areas throughout life, whether it, whether it be uh, healing or diagnosis or herbs or whatever she was talking about. Applying your mind, which is using knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, it's, a, it's used as a force. How is the mind now practical if you can invent using your mind? Okay, right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for I'm not sorry. answering that. Yeah, thank you for not answering that. Uh, Sister Genesis, my question to you. Um, when, when you were talking about Ifa and, and all of this, is the, um, the, the, the worship of ancestors, but then you also said the ancestors are you. So you're just worshiping yourself. So what use, what, what good is that? How is that practical to just worship yourself? But what's the practicality in that? Because when you worship yourself and you take care of yourself and you care about yourself and you love yourself, then you do the right things with your health. You eat right. You do all the right things. You live a life of, of, of good character because you are God with you. You are God in the flesh. So therefore, but bottom line is, is that you understand that you are part of of, uh, of, of, of of divinity. You are a part of like that. Like I said, the microcosm affects the ma macrocosm. So. You know, it, yeah, that was a good answer. I appreciate that. Y'all have a good night. That was actually thank you, answer. Cube. Great questions. All right, brother. Thank you. Moving on to Neil Spite again. I'm just going to reiterate 
You get to ask the question to each debater and then no back and forth, please. Just let them answer and just, just like Cube did, you can exit. So I appreciate everybody who hit the panel. Neil, peace, go ahead and ask your question to your first debater. Okay, and, and it'd probably be for both. So uh, the word practical, I'm looking up at the dictionary and it's uh, of a concern with the actual doing or use of something rather than with theory and ideas. The mind is a theory and idea. So by default, uh, my first question is going to be to um, um, De De Devian or De Dayan, uh, how could you even stand? You're not standing on, on, on a definition of the word. Okay, he, he must have had a tech problem. He dropped off. Go ahead and ask this sister that question and we'll wait for him to come back, hopefully. Okay, and that question would be to you uh, too. Um, would you agree or disagree? No, to I'm sorry, question? Neil, he's back, my brother. Sorry about that. Okay, no worries. Ask him again. Okay, so, uh, I see him coming in like his thing is circling. Right, right, like, right, okay. right. You, you want me to wait till it stops circling? No, or go, go ahead and ask the sister. I'm sorry. Oh, well, okay. here he is. Go ahead. Okay. So, Damian, you heard my question? Uh, they kicked me off. Yeah, no, I'm I sorry. Did. Did. All right, so. Up. They said again. All right. Yeah, I said the word practical of a, con a definition, by definition, of, or as I look it up here, it says of or concerned with the actual doing or use of something rather than with theory and idea. So the mind itself is an idea. So by default, would you say you didn't even stand, you didn't even uh, have a righteous debate tonight because your 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 uh, whole premise was on a practical idea or something practical rather, not an idea or a theory. The mind is an idea and theory. A soul is an idea and theory. Are, are you asked, ask, put it in the form of a question for the that's brother? My question, that's my question. Is he, do you feel as though uh, you you didn't understand the debate? That's my question. Uh, yes, I understood the debate. And plus, it was more practical for society, for our people. So in building a society, you have to have ideas and concepts in order to govern the people or, or how to run a government. Wait, wait uh, so the, the you said the mind isn't practical. No, no, Dude. it's a theory and an idea. You can't tangibly grab or hold a soul or a mind. You have a brain. <laughs> um. Okay, so Devion, is that, you, did you finish? But he answered it, he, or if he's finished, yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, because then you can move on to the system because we have other people, but, but I appreciate everybody hitting the panel, just want to, for time's sake. Devion, did you want to finish up? I think he, go ahead. I wanted to finish. the The Go brain on. is the physical organ. The mind is the function of it. There are lobes of the brain which carry the functions, which will be the mind, which is practical, which is problem solving, uh, uh, taking in information. Like what? The the mind is practical. You you, you can't invent unless you use ideas or thoughts. Okay, thank you very much, Devion. Sister Sister Genesis, can you answer that question, the same question? So I would say that all that stuff, all that talk about the mind is great, but where is the account for a person that doesn't have the right mind or has a broken mind? In Ifa, Odu Ifa, we talk about Obat La, how he, uh, got, he got drunk and he made people with illnesses and with, uh, you know, with uh, d disabilities and schizophrenia and things like that. So we have account for people who, with mental illness and stuff like that. And we have Odus that explain how to deal with those type of uh, issues. Uh, I don't really understand where uh, the Torah is actually giving direction or guidance to people in that fr frame. So if you're saying the mind is everything, well, what happens when your mind is broken? What do you do then? And what does society do with you? What is, how do you use the Torah to address that issue? And that's the question thank, I have. Thank, thank you, Sister Genesis and Devion. Thank you, Neil, for that question. Great questions, everybody. So far, these are awesome questions. Moving on to the brother, on to on, on to on. And then J after that, we do JJ and of course to Corey. All right, uh, to, on, please ask to your questions and uh, we can move on to the other uh, panelists. You're muted, sir. You're muted, on to on. You wanna unmute my friend.
Yeah, I can't get it to unmute. I unmuted it. Okay, go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So peace to everyone. A beautiful debate. I got peace. a quick question to both uh, debaters. Uh, Dayon, you first, if if you may. Uh, would you consider the medicine that you know we currently use across the world, uh, modern medicine in general? Would you consider all forms of medicine and doctors currently a form of sorcery? Or is it uh, in its own a different category? No, I would say I would say it's uh, definitely sorcery, which uh, comes from pharmakia, which is Greek, which means witchcraft. Oh, okay, and uh, uh, thank you so much. And to Genesis, if I could, if you can remember the the same exact question, is uh, modern forms of medicine currently being used? Is that sorcery? And if you guys want to elaborate afterwards, um, you may. I wouldn't say but it's all sorcery. Uh, I would say that certain things, you know, in the Odu Ifa, when we talk about um, Obatala, um, I think it was uh, Eji Ogbe, where he talks about um, uh, the white powder. Obatala uh, talks about not actually ingesting any white powder except for Efun. Um, Ifun is like the powder we use during our rituals and our different things like that to make create purity. But using anything that's made of white powder, like pills and things, is breaking down. But your, the herbal aspect of that is what should, should be used, not the actual byproduct of, of of reproduction and things like that. And that's actually in the Oduifa. Oh, okay. So from from your point of view, even modern medicine would be like a subtext or like a smaller version of what's considered medicine or sorcery in Ifa. Yeah, they're basically, well, I would say we don't really, I mean, we don't like identify things as sorcery or not. We just say what to use and what not to use. We don't say that sorcery, but we do have a thing called witchcraft, but it's more a spiritual thing. When it comes down to the medical field, uh, it's more like, don't use this, don't use that. If that's how it identifies with the medicine. Oh, Thank okay. That's it. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That was my yeah. question. Uh, back, thank you. Um, Good questions. All these are great questions. I appreciate everybody so far. On to on. You can see your way out, please, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. Moving on to Jeremiah Judah. Peace, JJ. Uh, you can do the same. You know how it works. Go ahead and ask your questions. Okay. Yeah. Great debate, man. I want to congratulate uh, both debaters. You did real good. I got to get an edge to uh, Debbie on. You did real good, bro. So that's when you brought up the seven pillars. That's in uh, Proverbs 9 and 6. A lot of people don't understand the, the, the angle that he came. The angle that he came is not the regular Hebrew Israelite the way. Him and Judah have been doing this for a long time. And like he said, psychological and stuff like that, the mind. Very good, bro. You did very good. I looked up everything that you were saying, plus I got more. But one thing I can't say, she's a good debater. I give her that. You're good, queen. But, uh, I just like to say the Torah is older than E5. The written Torah is older than e E5, 7th century. Uh, uh, the Torah was written. Uh, E5 was finally written down in the 14th century. So you would have to prove which oral oral uh, tradition is, 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 is older. And that's hard to do. But we got it written down before you guys. Also, Tricosi is practiced by E5. I just want to just throw this out. Tricosi, that's, that's the child, child slavery. Then you got killing of uh, albinos. I got all the sources of references of the practices that they do. And, you know, 1860 was when y'all stopped doing uh, uh, sacrifice. No, this is a question. I'm sorry. You know, you know, JJ, a you know how it is. Question, man. Oh, no, wait, it, jump to the question. You, you, you ain't debating. I'll debate you later. I'll debate you later. I know. She's going to debate you later, JJ. Please, ask the question. Okay? You can't all just right, come in here. All right, all right, all right. You trying to be on the debate? No, I'm trying to bring out some facts. You know, I said. Come on, JJ. It's been going hey, well, hey, but hey, and you're a battler now. But I'm just saying now, man. <laughs> no, come on, JJ. All right, all right. What's the so, question? Here's my question can... to you, and I got one for yeah. Debbie. Which spiritual system do of Ifa do you follow? Do you follow the one with the African uh uh uh, uh, uh colonialism uh, or African Cuban Ifa Santeria, which blends your Yoruba traditions with Catholicism? So yeah, I got all kinds. Of, I looked at those 18 different ones. You never told us which one you practice. I know where Devion came from. I know he's with Tor, but you never told us which one do you follow. And that's what I'm asking you right now, because there's 18 different okay, ones. There's no, oh. so, no, okay, there's only one E5. No. Nope. Nope. I got it right here. No, 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 no. You don't understand. No, let's not go no. back and forth because we gotta stay. There this is, is only, okay, let, me, let, me, let me just say there's only one E5. 
Ifa is what the Babal, okay, so what? The Baba Laos, okay, in all of those traditions, go practice one Ifa. Okay, listen, all Orisha, all Orisha practice Orisha. So Lukumi, Santeria, Condomble, uh, uh, 21 divisions. Uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, da, 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 all these different, uh, yes, yeah, all right, so yes. When it really comes down to it, but Ifa, when I talk about Ifa, Ifa is the literal corpus of all of the, okay. when it comes to divination, Orumila, all right, it, or, the, the, the Baba Laos that actually uh, uh, worship Orumila that practice Ifa, right. um, they have a separate uh, thing just called Ifa. Bust so Vudun people go to see a, a, a Baba Lao, uh, right. Santorina people go see a Baba Lao. Apollo, yeah. people go see a Babalao, South American people, go, whatever it is, right, they go right, see the right. Babalao. And that is right. a separate, even though it's connected, it's it's its own, it's almost like the Levitical priesthood. Okay, okay. now, JJ. I mean, so she did a great job, I, I, I promise you. You're a great debater, and she's going to be a force to reckon with, you know, from time to come. You you, you did good for your friend. Yes, and JJ time. has an eye for debaters, so he knows what he's yes, talking about. Yes, good. We need you now, to ask um, my brother. Yeah. We need you to ask uh, Devion his question, please. All right. Hey, Devion, man. You, hey, bro, you, you went deep. You went in deep waters, man. Man, you did good, man. A lot of people in the audience didn't understand where he was going with it, man. Hey, bro, I was proud of you. Now, and you know what? You didn't say right, right, right. You worked on that. You worked on that. So that's what they were looking for. I'm, hey, man, you're getting better, man. But here's the thing. If here's my question to you, and if if they use an Ifa, uh, the African Cuban Ifa Santeria, and it blends Catholicism and indigenous influences into their to teachings. Would that be the same as the other 17 other Ifa practices? I mean, I, I guess so, because I mean, the original Ifa is where they came from. So with the Bodun and Santeria, all they did was just add additions to it. But so I have to. But at the center, at the center of it, they still use the Odu text. They still use the Orishas, and they they right. worship Olu Kumare and the other yeah. the four hundred Orishas in the pantheon. So why would they add Catholicism into their to their practices? I'm trying to figure that one out. Oh, uh, well, I guess they I guess they wanted to be a uh, part Catholic. No, because they were slaves and they were allowed. Oh, to their I'm gonna remember we got to Corey waiting. JJ, oh, you know, oh, they oh. weren't allowed to practice their religion. <laughs> so they had to cloak it under uh, Catholicism in order to hide it from the. the we're slave talking about Santa Maria. Okay, okay. 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 I, thank okay. you. Uh, congratulations to both of you and and uh, for cool Dubo JJ information came from outside. No, they got sources, references, peer review articles, and all that, sir. So I don't know what you're talking about. Great yeah, debate. We, we I look forward to seeing her debate again. I, mm -hmm. I like to put Bill with the sisters because so, really Ifa and, and, and Torah has a lot of similarities. Maybe you two can come together and do the similarities. You see what I'm saying? Well, maybe yeah, you I'm could do that with her. With I, mean, with that I actually cool. have that, those similarities in my PowerPoint. I yeah, have yeah, you did, girl. You know, okay. I'm telling you, you're, you're forced well, to record. Well, I can see you. Let me say this, JJ, and then you yeah, obviously thank you for hitting the panel and adding to this, yeah. this great debate. I want to say Sister will be doing a presentation just like everybody else, and you can uh, link up and find out if you guys can collaborate. So thank you so much. Yeah, yeah Nepal, let okay. me ask you something. Well, one more question, Nepal. Was there anything ignorant that I said when I asked these questions? Because this clown of Chai Porter. No, 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 no. You're doing you good. Don't even tonight. worry about that person. The floor yeah. with you. Don't. Chai Porter, Don't. You are a chat rat. I'm just letting you know. I see you. I see you. Hey, great, great debate, okay. uh, both of y'all. Yeah. I love, I love what both of y'all did. Great you did great, JJ. Great question. All right. You know, great question. I'm out of here. But Ty Porter, right, you, you get so it much. anytime, sir. And look out to me and Zion's debate on uh, November second. Yeah, we're going to promote all of that. Thank you. We got to promote more. Uh, thank you so much, JJ. We got to focus on promotion. Last but not least, I want to say thank you to all the panelists who came in. JJ, you know, he has his flair. Even JJ, he did great. These were great questions. These are two star debaters, in my opinion. Finally, to Corey, my brother, thank you for your patience. Ask your questions, and then we can hear these two debaters do their closeout. Okay, well, I just want to say shout out to both of the debaters. Shout out to the sister. I, I, I didn't think that this was a sister that was uh, getting ready to debate Davion. But uh, both of them did. Yeah, it was a it was a it was a debate. So, yeah. So check this out. 
uh, we know that one of the most important things to do when dealing with a community is that we got to deal with the body. And the most important thing of dealing with the body it starts off with the mind. You know, so... And one of those ways that we could deal with the mind is the foods that we eat. So I'm going to ask both of y'all a question because this is very important. Uh, I'm going to start off with Davion first. Uh, Davion, is there any scriptures? Yeah, is there any scriptures in the Torah that help us deal with, like any dietary laws in the Torah that help us deal with foods that, that is good to strengthen our mind and our body? And if it is, can you show me a text in a in a uh tour? Of course. Oh, I mean you can go I mean you can go to Leviticus one, two, three, all the animals, all the animals that were sacrificed. Uh also right, it wasn't just they had uh they had it the conditions had to be unblemished, which means they couldn't have no ailments, no or lame or whatever. Also they had to be, their hooves had to be set apart, which means they were able to d distinguish. And uh, rumination, which means to chew the cud, which rumination also means to be deep in thought. So that's why all the, the, the animals had to be, you know, that they represented you. They had to be unblemished. But then also, too, you know, you can't eat no uh, robins, no ravens, no, no pig. Even though pig's hooves are completely separate, they don't chew the cud. Which means they they eat whatever. All all the aspects are negative aspects of the mind or the spirit. Ravens uh, or crows, they they rob, they, and they're on the lookout all the time, and they rob. I mean that's that's what it is. But there's plenty uh there's plenty uh laws in the Torah where you can't eat uh forbidden animals. It's all throughout Leviticus. So just to give you. Just to give you one, uh, just to give you one, give me one second. So, it's so Leviticus 11. Everything among the animals that has a split hoof, which is completely separated into double hooves, and that brings up the cud, that one, may, that one you may eat. But this is what you shall not eat from among those that bring up their cud and that have split hooves. The camel, for it brings up his cud, but the hoof is not split. It is unclean. The hyrax, for it brings up his cud, but its hoof is not split, which means it doesn't discern. Uh, it is unclean to you. Uh, the hair... If I'm saying it's like a, a, a rabbit for it brings up his cub, but his hooves is not split. The pig, uh, right, we are, we are not to eat a torn apart carcass. And we are not able to eat uh, uh, things of the sea without fins and scales. Because the scales are to protect the fish from parasites and the fins is to help it move to and fro. Okay, so it's confirmed that there's a dietary law and a, a health solution to deal with the mind and the body, you know, to make us healthy. He pulled out a scripture, he pulled out a text, he pulled book, chapter, and verse, and showed that. So now, my question to you, Genesis, is uh, can you show me a text in the ether of the dietary laws that can help us strengthen our minds and our bodies and to keep us healthy? What do we eat and what do we not eat according to the ephah text, the ancient ephah text? Okay, so based on ephah, you would go to a babalaw and they would do a divination for you. And each individual person would get individual uh, diet based on their destiny. So <clears throat> the way that it works is, is, but there are specific animals you, that you're forbidden to eat, like dogs, snakes, rats, cats, you know, um, it's a but but basically there are specific animals for a specific or a specific diet for a specific person and a person is not not supposed to eat um it's not a, a blanketed uh belief system it's individualized okay um there's also based on the, the odoo that gets cast 
that, that you'll be restricted to eat. So if you so one or do might tell you not to eat eggs, you know, uh, and that that'll like last for a certain amount of time until your next reading. It might tell you not to eat, eat any red meat. It might tell you not to eat any any birds or any, you know, so it's so your diet is really at that time based on the divination at the time. And what Odu comes out uh, during that reading, uh, if you have a life reading or a tefa, then you are forbidden to eat that particular animal for the rest of your life. So, uh, and that is a taboo, considered a taboo. So our, uh, our, uh, our dietary restrictions are based on Odu, on based on individual, um, when you get initiated, uh, Itefa, which is like usually given to a child at birth, and their their t uh, dietary restrictions are given um, in that ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, uh, what what text can I find this in, though? Okay, you would go to a it's called the you would you, you there's no you wouldn't read that in a book. You would go to a Baba Lao and the, the Baba Lao would tell you your individual, like I said, dietary restriction. Thank based you. on the old do that comes out. Okay. Thank you for pointing all that out for us. Uh Genesis, Devion, and Takori, those are great questions. We definitely see what you're where you're going with that. We appreciate you. Um so brother, if you want, you can see your way out while we we'll, and let the debaters go ahead and do their close out. Uh, Sonetter, welcome to the debate. He's been watching the whole time. Welcome to the stage, King. Uh, yes, this is yes. um, I definitely want to say something as myself. Of uh, course. All, uh, I want to say both debaters did great. Both participants did great. And Genesis, um, don't get discouraged by any Israelite coming up saying you lost a debate because, you know, Israelites got to say that. Oh, because they've been going say, off on me. Going off on me in this in this chat. I've been like, I've been trying. We're not finish. done with the debate yet. So remember, we're not done with the debate. We're not done with the debate. Well, yep. I'm not the moderator, so I could say what I want. So, um, Genesis, don't get discouraged. A Israelite got to say a Israelite brother won, because to say he lost is to say they lost. You see what I'm saying? Is to say they God didn't hold it. Is to say the Torah can't stand up. I'm going to say, without any biasness, you did win the debate based off of your question and answers, because you was asking questions that I feel Davion really could not answer. You was killing it on the question and answer period. And that right there, I would say gave you the win by far. And okay, that's, well, that's just my opinion. No, yeah, we The nothing. debate isn't done, though. And I appreciate you doing that. I just no, am no, saying no, I no, wish. Like JJ came in and said, "Who won?" I know, but that was that. No, I'm not mad at that. I'm just saying I right. want them to get on with the with the closing, and then we can definitely definitely go in on who won and who didn't. Um, you just if you want to moderate the last no, no, part, go I, ahead. I'm good. You good? No, 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 I don't want to moderate at all. All right, I'm so just stay here back. though. No, don't okay. don't leave the panel. Oh, he he left. He's in the oh. background. Okay, thank you, Sonetter. So anyway, we're going to go into our closing. You have five minutes, uh, Genesis, to go ahead and uh, close out. I'll start the time. Wait, do, we, I, do I present my screen? Should I you my can screen? do whatever you want in your closing. Just let me know when you're ready to start your time. And in that case, we will not be able to, once it's started, I can't pause it for you. But tell me when you're ready. Hold on one second. Let me. Um... Definitely. Go ahead. Thank you so much for everybody. That I like everybody's questions who came in. So I are definitely always wonderful for you to come in. You always mm -hmm. boost the boost anything that you come in on. But I just want them to get to this last part. Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, I didn't. Okay, please don't summer jam. Who do I sound like, so <laughs> Please don't. Okay, so. Tell me when you're ready. I'll start your time. Okay. So, okay. Let me just try to find the page. Dang, it's got a lot, of, a lot of pages in this thing. I, it's hard to find the thing on pages. Yeah, I, that's what happens when you have like a bunch of slides. Let me just say this. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I got it. I got it. All right. Okay. Thank oh, wait, you, Tony. See all this. Did you see me scrolling? I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah. So I'll start your time when you when you say. I just wanted to tell everybody who's participated once again. Thank you so 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 much for supporting the debaters, the platform, and 
Anybody can come in here and do this. It's the toughest environment, but it's great. Hit the like, share the video, share the debate. All right, when you're ready, I'll start your time. Okay, go ahead. All right, time starts now. All right, so EFI's global spiritual system has successfully adapted to various cultural changes. It, it has survived the transatlantic uh, slave trade. Uh, it has been, um, you know, uh, like, it, I mean, our ancestors really did their best to try to keep this uh, tradition, you know, uh, under wraps, you know, and keep it in its original form. And to, and I believe that um, it's disingenuous for people that are ans that are uh, descendants of uh, the slave trade of the of the transatlantic slave trade to discount the original religion that actually people practiced when they were brought over here. I think that uh, we need to really look into our ancestors and look into the, our roots. I mean, we could, in fact, be uh, Hebrew Israelites down the line. It could be the Ifa practitioners. Uh, at one point, were um, influenced by the Israelites and by Hebrew Israelites, but ha but to discount nature-based tradition and call it witchcraft when this is how society was structured and how these kingdoms, the Oyo Kingdom, the Yoruba nations, were very mighty. The West Africa, everything did not um, did not only uh, stop and end uh, in North Africa and in, in in Israel. There was there were very uh, pronounced kingdoms in those West African pl uh, places in West Africa. And we should be proud to understand that we have ancestors, we have people in societies that had a religion and a whole breakdown of an organ of an organized structure of society. And that those societies were very successful, especially the metal metallurgy and the alchemy that they used, uh, the herbs that they used that was that you know are still existing and still being used. Uh, these things are still being used in our government. People still see Babalaos. Uh, people see them. Um, people still use Bible laws. Christians use Bible laws. Muslims use Bible laws. I mean, come on now. We we you'd be surprised. A lot of your entertainers come to get come to get divination. Ifa uh, spans uh, society, you know, and it's it's used in society very very well. But people don't want to admit that this is that, that this is really like the, the this is really uh, actually this the the puppeteer uh, that that's been behind a lot of like uh, the success in a lot of people's lives because they're able to, you know, understand themselves from a holistic standpoint, you know, but they don't want to let people know that they're utilizing uh, Baba Laos and, and uh, Olorishas in their lives because they don't want to be seen as uh, practicing witchcraft when this is our, our ancient ways. These are the ways of our ancestors. Ifa tradition, um, even though uh, Ifa and, and, and Torah offer profound spiritual insights, uh, Ifa's flexibility, personalized approach, holistic healing practices, and focus on individual destiny, the microcosm versus the macrocosm, how everything is connected, you know, um, those things are relevant to a practical society, how to practice it in society. When, we, when, when these um, hospitals uh, don't exist and you can't afford a medicine or work from a doctor, you know what you could do? You could go to an Ifa practitioner and learn how to do herbs and learn um, how to heal yourself. Not just, uh, say, the mind, because the or Orisha, the Ori is the mind, and that is a central thing to Ifa is the Ori. That's why the Orisha is the owner of the mind. So the Torah talks about the mind, so does the Ifa. The central thing is is what sits upon your the top of your head is it is the ori, ori sha owner of one's consciousness. So ifa is 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 is, is paramount and paramount <coughs> to the mind. But when you don't um, include a physical health and understanding your society, and uh, you 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 lose out. You have you have you have a, you have a a, a a missing link. And that's the only thing I see here is that, you know, maybe Ifa is the missing link to the Torah because I don't see anything when it really appears when it comes down to really uh, diagnosing health. It's not a complete system. Um, and that's just how I feel. And that's the end. Thank you so much for today's debate. Uh, thank you. Um, awesome. Great. Perfect time. And you had about 30 seconds left. Thank you. I'll take down your screen share and let the brother come in. When you're ready, Devion, let me know. And I will do whatever if you want to screen share or just let me know when to start your time. Yeah, I'm going to share my screen. 
Awesome. Okay. Tell me when you're ready to start. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's, oh, yes, it is. Okay. Ready when you are. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Time so, starts. Uh, hmm? So uh, in closing, though, there is no missing link to the tour. The tour is perfect, restoring the soul, the, which means to make someone dead of the mind living or g give them, you know what I'm saying, a, a renewed mind. But, I mean, that's what the Torah is, is a, is a book of psychology, a book of the, the study of the mind and behaviors. Uh, in conclusion, I show that the Torah is a book of psychology that stimulates the mind to improve or strengthen its functions. Functions that dictate the lobe of the brain or its inner workings, as far as the, the parietal lobe, the frontal lobe, as I stated before. All these, all these are the inner workings of the mind. So, the the mind is practical because you can use the mind to invent, to build, to to do math, mathematics, a geometry. All it all starts with the mind. The Torah shows the stages and ranks of decrees to establish a nation without the influence of other cultures. Right. So, in 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 uh, Ifa, they they. Their practices are similar to other religions around the world. The Torah is not religion. We don't practice Judaism. Like I said, the, the Torah is our heritage. It, it's a book of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. To make one noble. Being placed in a trance-like state or under hypnosis, which is a, basically a trance, deteriorates the mind or spirit by the possession of spirits or demons which is what they call the ancestors or nothing but familiar spirits, which is the Ewab and the Yada'an, the Aniyam, which means also sorcery or conjuring of spirits, resulting to a state of inactivity and loss of consciousness while awake. And she was speaking on the waves of the uh, waves and frequency. The mind has brain waves. You got alpha waves, theta waves, uh, delta waves, gamma waves, beta waves. Like, come on, the 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 theta, the theta waves are a low, just like a low uh vibration with not much activity. So it's basically sleep while you alive. That's what a trance is, a, a state of hypnosis, or through a medium, which is what they would call a babalao. In the Torah, there is no mediums. How is that better for our people? And no, the you know, he just represent himself in Israel. All he did was atone for Israel's sins. But he is elevated above his brother. But he is not he's not a medium. Because we, we that's why we don't deal with ancestor worship. We don't deal with, you know, no Orishas, no none of that. We don't pray to angels, we don't do none of that. How is that better for our people? Again, she didn't want to touch on that uh, human sacrifice. People around the world practice animism, which Ifa will be a part of the worship of nature. This results in us lacking our own cultural practices and building a nation. Ifa is witchcraft, divination, sorcery, which does not benefit our people at all. So, and she's talking about the, the religion that's practiced from West Africa through slavery that made it to the the Caribbean and other whatever uh, uh, place where the Yoruba was taken as as, as slaves, they, I mean they have they that that's their practice. The Israelites we didn't practice Ifa, we kept the Torah. You can even go to the Dead Sea Scrolls. They were keeping the Torah. It said revert to the Torah of Moses, not Ifa. So with that, uh, the Torah establishes. Even it, it even established how to conduct yourself through civil interactions. As far as I brought out wages amongst uh, the people of Israel, uh, workers, you can't hold a worker's wage. You are you are supposed to help the poor, the destitute, the orphan and the widow. We can't oppress a stranger for we were strangers in the land of Egypt. All also no immorality in the land, no prostitution, no promiscuity, no incest. No, none of that. So 
I mean, the, the Torah helps uh, establish and maintain a working society. And, and with that, I relinquish my time. Yahweh Khan. It was a, a good debate, and uh, uh, thank you for hosting it on the pod and being a, a, a moderator. And, um, you know, thank you for the sister for uh, taking the debate. You, you know what I'm saying? Even though, even though you lost, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, with that, I just want to say, it, you know what I'm saying? Thank you and uh, Shalom. There is no losers. Only, only, only uh, understanding. You know, people now now know a little bit more about something they didn't know before. So it's it's okay, sister. It's it's, it's okay to get uh, beaten the cheap seats every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a uh, good debate though. Great job by both of y'all, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Great job by both of y'all, and um, Nepal should die, man. Excellent, excellent. Um, the way you did this thing, Nepal. The only difference is, I ain't gonna even say that live. I'll wait. But I'm gonna ask Cube a question. I need to get to Cube. Is Cube running from JJ Seven Thousand? I remember we were supposed to set something up for Cube and Brother JJ. I don't know what, what happened with that. So maybe I'll give Cube a call and we're going to try to see what we could do with this. Yes, Nepal, you. you there? I'm here. Yeah, I was just letting you have I'm, your... I'm going to tell you, great job, Queen. You did Thank good. you, Queen. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Always a pleasure. I love the yeah. HOK. And this is a great, uh, great debate. These two did. I'm glad it happened. Um, the forces of good prevailed and we got these two in the ring and we got to hear their positions. They worked hard in their debates. Thank you so much. I can't even tell the audience uh, more. I, I just want to keep saying thank you so much. Great turnout considering. Um, and uh, if you, anybody doing an after show, I have some things to do, but definitely uh, drop, let us know. Maybe uh, let me just say, yeah. And let me say this. I'm sorry for cutting you off. I, right. I had it. I had it dead even until the question and answer came up for for the future brother whenever somebody asks you about the um the illness and the health all you had to do is go to the leviticus priest the leviticus priest is the one that deals with all of that they deal with the health they deal I with the, the condition oh you did i didn't hear that oh i, I didn't did. hear that i missed that oh okay i missed but that she asked, she asked me a specific question about your yeah, leg falling off yeah, yeah. asked you about the game green, the game green. Yeah. Right, I'm yeah, saying yeah. like, where, where is it that? What do you do in that situation? And, and your answer was uh, like nothing. We don't <laughs> deal with that. That's what you said. Right. Well. Yeah. Well, listen. Go ahead, Jimmy. Okay. Well, great debate with, between both of y'all. And uh, I want to close out with some music, but before I do though. Debbie, I'm going to be like, oh, you want to promote that? No, y'all can see. I was going to show the flyers for the upcoming debate. You know, it's all love to you and your wife, Debbie. You have a beautiful family. You're a good brother. Shout out to uh, all the people out there who have, you know, celebrating. I did? No, I didn't. They, they cut it off. Nobody treats it. <laughs> we didn't cut it off. They don't, they, no, as you no, can they, see, <laughs> as you can see, November the 2nd, we got JJ coming in the room. About time. This is definitely... um. This been brewing up between these two giants right here. They've been going to war for a long time. So we finally got a date with War Chow going up against JJ7000. And y'all already know what it is. Was Haile Selassie a messiah? And was he one of the two witnesses in Revelations 11? Man, that's going to be powerful. That's going to be powerful, right? And of course, y'all already know we got Ron Dalton. And you see me on the camera, but Ron Dalton and Queen Pa will be sitting down having a powerful, powerful interview. Ron Dalton is, is one that, I mean, I look at him as one of the top Israelites because he, he, um, he has socialized with Africans. He include Africans. He don't say Africans are the stinking dirty like, like a lot of Israelites. He don't do that. So this is going to be a real good, good discussion between Ron Dalton and Nepal. Look for that. And then, of course, y'all already know what's coming up. We got Brother Jabari and the team. Kemet, Nepal Shada, Asar M. Ka, and they going up against Owaspi. Owaspi is feeling themselves because they have taken out 
the Hebrew Israelite gang. They have taken out Team Israelite. And so they think they can come in and step up and take out the comedic crew. That's going to be crazy right there. All right? And then right after that, the next following week, we got the captain. I need to get the captain and um, JJ together again, man. I got to get the captain and JJ together. But we got Captain Tazari out going up against Pastor Thompson. That's going to be great. And, of course, y'all already know, Nepal Shaddai is holding the belt. If anybody wants to smoke with Nepal, hit me up. Put the topic in there, and we'll see what we do with it. We'll see what we do with it. And um, that's what it is. All right, yes, and I want to let everybody know. One last thing, Queen, I'm going to pass to you, Mike. No, no, go ahead. I wanted you to uh, finish up. You can take your time. You want me to what? No, take, I wanted you to take your time. Okay. And one last thing. If you would like for me to be your manager, hit me up in the in the email. I got a few people that's that you know I'm managing. You know, hit me up. I want JJ. I definitely want um I want to manage JJ so that he could become a better debater. Um, when I say better, he is definitely a hell of a good researcher. But what I mean by better, I'm talking about behavior wise. I'm talking about you know being able to to take certain things, take certain hits, having discipline. That's what I want to put in there, the discipline. So that's what I'm here for. All right? That's right. And don't that's forget we here. were talking about Wavy Jew. So I never want you to hit him up, uh, Jeremiah, and any anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah, we got to love the Jeremiah to to Torah Knights. I love Torah Knights, brothers. Get Hit Sonetter up, good people. Because we still trying to get you those debates, believe it or not. We were it's hard getting these debates put together. Um, things don't always go well, but it, we always have everybody's best interest in mind, believe it or not. So yeah, Jeremiah hits on it or up on, on uh Facebook or hit, you know, just hit him up directly because he wants to talk to you because he knows you've been trying to get that debate with um who was it, Sonnet or Fopi? Not Fopi, the black only. Debate, yeah, or yeah. or with the Muslims. So anybody, anyway, everybody, back to the people who are here right now. We did enough promoting. Let's go ahead back to these two debaters. Give them their shine. Put them back up on the screen. Thank you so much, Devion. Thank you so much, Genesis. Toughest environment. I want to go ahead. If you don't have anything else to say, y'all, Devion, Genesis, or Sonetter, I'm gonna just close out with a song because we love the songs. Anybody? No? Yes. Good job. You want us to start singing? Oh, no. Ooh. Okay. Please don't. You did great. Go ahead, Debbie, what were you going to say? I'm just kidding, Genesis. No, I was going to say, I ain't, I ain't had nothing to say. But, you know, All right, then. Me. Let's close out with the song, then. Peace, everybody. We are the babies of Sarnetta. We are emulating <laughs> the greatness of Sarnetta, the HOK, the House of Consciousness, and the trailblazing uh, work by the one and only. I the one and only uh, Nepal, that's the wrong song. That's the one I like because then it starts up. Baby, you messed it up. No, no, that's the wrong song. We don't play that no more. We have deleted that. Okay, well, let's do let me pick another song and I got you right here. Let me delete my that brother KOT. Right uh you played KOT already at the beginning. I love this song. Don't let okay. do can we yeah, let yeah, do your thing? I love it too. I know. I know the, hold on. I know the words to this and everything. <laughs> I'll be saying this to I know the lyrics and everything to this song. Man. Shout out. Yeah, I like it. I, mean, I know Peace the and lyrics love. to this shit already. Peace and love to you, King. Peace and love to the people. Still in the H O K, you poor form, trophies if not you need me pulling up on them quick. Then they were trying to get your mind ready, trying to see your soul if they only win it. We do this for the babies, we can't forget more balloons. All of my people just know I got love for them. They say they want fuck, but they ready to find me in the street. Step in the HOK, you poor form, tough as if I get me, we pulling up on them, but then they were trying to get your mind ready, trying to see your soul if they only went there. We do this for the baby, never give up on no All of my people just know I got love for them. They say they want fuck, but they ready to find me in this game. That's not there. By the system, better watch what you say to them. I do it for the shit, I know I gotta make a way for them. Carry them on my back like I take the gym. Never turn my back, you know I gotta lead the way for them. 
choke, can't you bring your conscience in the people behind the freedom? Bro, we give a knowledge, I'll be free on. Boom, what is all this, I'll be free on. It's about to go down in the big Coliseum. They talk by smoke, they just blow, they don't want to win the seal. We wait it all day from the head to the bill. We don't the cup, it's a vibe, man, we take them to the deep things. Slum with the knowledge, they've been seeking. Yeah. You need a hand, they've been reaching. Really got my back when I need it. See they walking, dick, they've been sleeping. Higher than the mountain, I'm peaking. Hold up from the cold, now with all this beef. Boom, for the people, it's the spirit, they be seeking. Kind of city, baby, front of leeches. Been in your pain, but we speaking. Trapped with that word, got that armor, a yeah, but it's the spirit, we breathing. Not head up with the other channels on them, not like the senses that are mean. I'm in a yacht, no dick, and I be no Calabar, fam. It's the best, how we greet them. Stuck in the HOK, you get raw form, tough as a fire, man. We pulling up on them, but then they were trying to get your mind ready. Trying to take your soul if they only went there. We do this for the baby, never give up on no All of my people just know I got, got love for them. They say they won't smoke, but they ready to find me in the studio. That's our name. Stuck in the HOK, you get raw form, tough as a fire, man. We pulling up on them, but then they were trying to get your mind ready. Trying to take your soul if they only went there. We do this for the baby, never give up on no All of my people just know I got they say they won't smoke, but they ring. You find me in the studio. That's my name. Don't swerve in my lane, you might crash out. Pull on my friends, you might cash out. Just step in the H, okay? We keep it jumping the hate away. We put the fake in the head, and the haters put it. If we gon' save them, then we gotta make a way. On us a fade away. I got that light that's so bright, I can make a day tough as environment. They have the H, okay? That's a hit right there. Peace, everybody. Have a great Saturday. When you're going to end it, I'll end it. Who, who's going to?